Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Flesh and Blood stream. I just need y'all to know that I, I'm always reading y'all's comments before the stream even starts. <laughs> like that are in the chat. And bro, Trent's out here killing me. Trent said, call my girl the week because I sure do have a crush on her fam. I'm out here dying. <laughs> I was sitting here laughing at myself looking at that before we even started the stream. Dude, that was hilarious. Uh, Trent, that was an amazing one-liner. I just, like you had me rolling before I opened the stream fam. That was great. Oh, guys, welcome back to the Flesh and Blood stream. Tonight, we're going to be playing Victor. Um, we're practicing for Atlanta. Um, you know, Atlanta's like three weeks away, two weeks away. Um, and next week, I'm out of town all week at work. Unfortunately, I'm going to be in Wisconsin all week next week. So I won't be able to like practice really any. Um, so I'm kind of up in the air right now. You know, I've been telling you guys lately that I've really been testing um, Reinar, you know, looking forward to Atlanta. Um, and that's still towards the top of my list. Um, Victor's towards the top of my list just because you guys know I love Victor. He's my boy right now. Um, and you know, I, I'm going to be honest, KO, KO felt really good the other night. So it's definitely something I'm testing. And I know that there's at least one, one, like, I know, I know Silas is probably taking KO to Atlanta. So we'll see what everybody else ends up taking, but. Oh, excuse me. Think I've, think I've turned you into a Victor sub main dude. I'll take that, Brad. I'll take that. That's a win for me right there, man. I'm glad to hear that you like Victor so much, dude. And Trent, dude, I'm I'm doing well, brother. How are you, man? How are you? Dude, we already got a big hydrate. Tameshi's already got a big hydrate. How are you, Tameshi? Got to test post-stromai? I mean, we do have to test post-stromai. Like, I just think it's going to be after ProQuest season. And if it's not after ProQuest season, God, am I just a happy person. Just going to be honest, it just makes my day a little bit better. Watch the tomorrow. Good luck. Oh, thanks, Sadoth. I appreciate you coming by and saying hi, man. Hope you have a good night. All right, big hydrate forward to Meshi before we get started here. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> anyway. Ooh, big hydrate out of the way. Brad said, I'm like 10 and 0 on Victor across two and a half deck lists. Dude, that's awesome, man. I'm glad to hear that it's going so well for you. I, I really enjoy Victor, dude. I think he's I think he's a lot of fun, and I think he offers a very good blocking clash mechanic into an an offensive format right now. So I'm a pretty big fan of him, to be honest. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well with him. Oh, excuse me. Want a cold foil black tech and cold foil flick knives? Dude, let's go, man. Cold foil flick knives and black tech, I better probably like towards the top of the list. Like, I mean, that's probably pretty expensive. <clears throat> I bet. Get you the aim if it isn't brute gameplay. Well, Trent, some days all you can do is survive, brother. I know that feeling all too well. Um, I know that, uh, I know, you know, Carly talks about how, you know, busy you guys are this time of the year, man. Like, you know, and like, you know, some nights, you know, Carly didn't get home, you know, until after I start streaming. So, like, I just, you know, I can't imagine what you guys go through this time of the year with taxes and, and everything else. You know, I know it's I know it's stressful as crap for every single person who works, like, in, you know, accounting, taxing, like, all that kind of stuff. So, I uh, my heart goes out to you, man. I hope it gets better soon. Yo, Slip, what's up? Um, Against Dory, I think we just want to go second. Um, I'm going to assume anytime we're playing Dory that we're playing against, uh, we're playing against, uh, Hatchet Dory at this point in time. No? All right. Is that my deck list? I think that's my deck list. Let's see if this is golden. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure that was my deck list there. I'm <clears throat> just making sure. But dude, Slip, what's up, man? How are you, brother? And the sideboard and a tweaked list I started using. I don't like it mainboard and Victor especially, lol. Okay, I mean, Brad, that's fair. I'm curious to hear why you don't like Command & Conquer main deck. What uh, what heroes are you not liking it against? Because Command & Conquer is kind of just like a two-card, make a surge, you know, throw six, like, you know, kind of disruptive piece staple. So I'm curious to hear about that. A semi-budget option for Crown of Providence? Um, So probably one of the best, you know, like, um, budget options for Crown of Providence is um, Arcanite Skull Cap. Um, I don't know how much Balance of Justice is. If Balance of Justice is the same price as Crown of Providence, but if Balance of Justice is cheaper, like 
I think Balance of Justice is just as good in the current format, if not better. Um, but I would say Arcanite Skullcap is probably the best. Um, is probably the best, like you know, budget option you're gonna find. Skullcap's really good, and it does actually block for more. So yeah, we got a regular Hydrate from Slip. I bet the cooldown hadn't hadn't hit yet. I'm already gonna have to go get another cup here in a minute. It feels like. Having issues loading the stream? I'm going to try and reset my Twitch app. I was also having issues with Twitch the other day. Yeah, bro, I still got to do my taxes too, Tameshi. I still got to do my taxes too. Hey, at least you recognize it, man, before you spend a lot of life, you know, like working on it and doing things like that, you know, like that can be miserable, you know, to like spend, spend your life working away, you know, just to not enjoy something. So I'm glad you realized it early. You know, that's really good. Um, into, into Azalea, you know what, since we're going first, we're just going to bring in a one of Pulverize, and we're just going to try and get a little lucky here on, uh, on turn zero. Um, never lucky, it appears. So we're going to pitch the Choke Slam, and then we're just going to Arsenal the Choke Slam. And, I mean, depending on what they leave us with, we can block with Test of Strength one other card. And then go E Strike, go again into Choke Slam, which is like kind of banana's way to start this game, to be honest. <laughs> so, Brad, I would I would tell you that like if like if you're playing the the Guardian Mirror, you definitely want Command and Conquer, and you want the Pummels, I think for sure too. Like, I think I run, I think I just run every single card in the Guardian Mirror in all of my decks. I mean, you're right, it doesn't do too much for sure, but, like, it, it has its moments, I feel like. I don't know, like, it's an interesting take. It's an interesting take. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued to hear you say that. So I think if we give Debilitate and Test of Strength here, as long as we win, we can pretty much draw into anything. Yep. Now, that's good for us, because um, it means they probably have to use Bullseye Bracers if they're going to play something here. And, like, I don't think they want to use Bullseye Bracers this early. And this allows us to go 5-go again into the Choke Slam here. I think that's the correct play. I mean, I think we're just supposed to apply as much pressure as possible. And Choke Slam is a, is a um, two-card eight that leaks some damage here um, and shuts down all their buffs. And Command and & Conquer is a two-card six that requires two cards from them. So, um... Plus, like, it doesn't really matter. If we play the Command & Conquer, we can't actually play two cards this turn. So I like this play a lot better here. Oh, I'm missing the chat. You guys are... Crown of Providence is, like, three times more expensive than the usual price. Oh, wow, that's crazy, dude. Daniel, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. I know, I mean, Arcanite Skullcap is, like, a good one. Like, Arcanite Skullcap is a really good budget option for you, for sure. Like, I think Arcanite Skullcap is a really good budget option. Like, I think Arcanite Skullcap is only, like, 40 bucks now. It's like a pretty cheap, I think, or it's cheaper now. I'm not going to say pretty cheap, but it's cheaper for sure. <laughs> Twitch is being bad. So like, you're not the like. Twitch like, so like. I always like have my stream up on my phone so that I can like try to like. Like, see if there's any, like, glaring issues so that I can see the stream from, like, a different point of view, from, like, the watching point of view. All right. It appears to be working on my phone now. Yeah, Choke Slam is awesome into Azalea, bro. I'm all about it. Nope, oh, sorry. I thought I'd already answered this already. As it used to be. So, Brad, I would tell you that if that if you are living in a world where that if you're living in a world where pairing Command and Conquer and Pummel together is a what if scenario for you, I would tell you that you're not playing Guardian Mirrors correctly. And I don't mean that to be like rude or disrespectful. Like I just think that's a like a very honest truth. Um, that like. The Guardian Mirror is like a patient game that's won over time. Um, and I think setting up plays and Command and Conquer Pummel is at the top of that list are things you have to play towards for sure. It could be the app. I don't think I've updated my app yet. I, I'm kind of assuming that's my problem if I'm being entirely honest. 
Um, just pummel your rouse the ancients. They never expect it. Pummeling zealous is actually not bad. And Liam, I got I got the uh, Twitch is fine on browser. Okay, so Twitch is fine on browser. It must be like a mobile thing that's going on. Um, and I will get your big hydrate right after this game. We'll go get a cup, and I'll get your big hydrate here in just a minute, Liam. Also, I appreciate you guys being here and hanging out. Um, I mean, part of me wants to give the Golden Sun, but like this is a really good way to close out games. I think we're just supposed to give Cranial Crush take one, and then throw E Strike for seven. Like, so we end up taking four on the turn cycle, and then we attack for seven when they don't have an arsenal. We are setting ourselves up to kind of get blown out by Codex of Frailty, but we can go get a Choke Slam or a Debilitate here. Um, probably be Choke Slam. I, I, I live in a camp where, like, there are matchups where Choke Slam is better than Debilitate, and this is just one of them, in my opinion. There's also a lot of matchups, in my opinion, where, um, where Debilitate is better than Choke Slam. There's a lot of matchups where Choke Slam is just eight damage. Like, that's all it says. Um, like dash is a good example. Like that's just eight damage pretty much, but yeah, pitch stacking, um, commanding conquer and pummel was actually a fan, fantastic play. Um, like, like pitch stacking, like really good lines like that is, oh dude, if we win with a blue, we could throw the pulverize here. We'd have to win the trounce and it be a blue that we win it with on top. And we could play the, the pulverize here. <laughs> that would be insane. Um, but yeah, no, like like pitch stacking Command and Conquer Pummel, pitch stacking Terra Sunder and the Golden Sun is insane together. Um, all of those things are great. Yo, Nicholas Lowe. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Thank you for the sub on YouTube. Appreciate you being here. We got three questions we ask everybody when they're here for the first time. What's your name? What got you into flesh and blood? And what are your favorite hot dog toppings? Kind of like a personality questions we ask ourselves. Oh, eight. Boo. Um, I mean, we could give a couple of pieces, like, we could give, so we're definitely giving this, right? Now, we could give the Aegis here and Tech Plating. I mean, I really, like, having this is, like, really bad for us, right? I mean, like, that's tough. So maybe we're just supposed to take three. Maybe we're just supposed to take five here. Well, no, we can't heave that then, right? Man, that feels really rough. I guess we'll go for it here. Like, winning the trounce is, like, really good. Um, man. Depresso. Big Depresso. Dang. Winning with, like, normally winning with the Golden Sun is, like, so awesome. So if I pitch this to draw a card off the gold, because I have three now, and I draw blue, I can still do it. Hang on, is there a better play before I start being dumb? I'm going to tell my opponent that I'm thinking here. Um... <laughs> I could pitch this to play Terra Sunder. Pitch this to play Terra Sunder and then come in for four. And then if I draw trip blues, I can just plan on playing it next turn. I mean, pop the gold, LOL. I mean, I could have taken five and had the blank surges. All right, we have two people saying pop the gold. Let's live on the edge. And we do not get there. And now we are in a spot to where if I pitch this to draw and we draw blue, it does not work for us. So I think now we're just going to make a surge. Throw Spinal Crush. And then, I mean, this is still for 10. This is a lot of value. And if we draw trip blues, we can play this. Uh, yeah, so we probably like it. I think that the more consistent like value play was to play Terra Sunder and then to swing the hammer for six. And then just arsenal this because whatever they throw, we can crown a providence it away if our hand doesn't line up to play it. Um, so. 
our opponent said they're thinking. I'm gonna tell them no problem. Um, so I don't know. I mean, like, I considering like we had the extra gold there off of the golden sun trigger, I don't really care to spend one of them. Um, but like if had we only had two, I probably would have been more conservative there. I don't know. There's no shot. What? All right, well, now we have we have Crippling Crush at home for second cycle. Oh, you love it when a plan comes together, boys. <laughs> Let's see. Until testing Faker over these past few days, nearly play Guardian and Draft very well. No, I mean, Brad, that's fair. And, like, I say that, you know, that, like, when I make those comments, like, you know, I say that not to be, you know, I say that not to be disrespectful because I think some people are very aggressive about how they approach things like that. Um, I don't really understand what my opponent was doing right there. That was a terrible mistake from them. Um, is it better just to throw, not make a surge? We can just throw pulverize here and then arsenal the thunderquake. Like, I think this is better because this is a two card eight next turn. Um, I do like this a lot, actually. But yeah, like I always say that, like, you know, like, I mean, sometimes like people disagree or like, you know, like I think, you know, like when I'm playing decks, I don't know. And someone's like, hey, like, I really don't think you're doing this. All right. I'm like, you know what? Like, you're probably right. Like, you know, like, help me. Like, tell me how I can fix that here. Um, it's one thing I actually really liked about the fab community is that we have a very positive community as a whole and that people are very, like, kind and very willing to work together. I'm a big fan of that. You're not a fan of CNC where people are happy to just throw down two cards against you. I mean, and like, so I, I hear where you're coming from because there are a lot. What is my opponent doing here? I don't know what they're doing, um, but yeah, like I hear you. Like I hear what you're saying. Like there are a lot of um, like there are a lot of decks who are happy to just put two cards in front of what you're doing. Like and like, you know, sometimes like just that I, I have had a lot of hands where like blocking out and then just throwing cnc feels bad like it doesn't feel that good either because they don't have an arsenal or because a lot of decks like dash and guardian are very happy to just put two cards in front of it so i do know what you're saying i do know what you're saying uh yeah so my only understanding is that they they didn't understand that like spy like what you said that spinal is everything and not just attack actions I think there's a lot of misconception there. I've actually ha I've actually ran into that at like some RTNs where people are pretty confused um, about what's happening. So, so this is for six dominate. Um, I mean, like, This does have a premeditate with it, so like I'm kind of incentivized to block this here. Throwing is what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, hey, sometimes people throw games, man. Stop losing and then you start winning. Hey, I listen, that's sound advice. That's advice I'd take right there. Um, I think I want to keep this because it actually um is a break point. And our opponent's all over the place right now. Happens to me all the time. What happens to you all the time, Taylor? You throw games. Don't read Spinal Crush. Oh, wait. They still get the Ponder token there. I wasn't even thinking about that. Too busy talking to the chat. <laughs> oh, man. I Sometimes I go back and I watch and I see all the, like, silly little mistakes and, like, dumb things that I do while I'm playing um, that I don't do, like, when I'm playing at, like, you know, in, like, tournaments and stuff like that. So I always get a kick out of stuff like that. I love throwing. I mean, I heard uh I I heard you uh threw a pretty important game the other day. Um just you know, just just what somebody told me that you know, you had a a winning end to something and threw that one away, but that's that's just what I heard. Just what I heard. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, absolutely, Brad. I, I never take, I, I like, I really try hard not to take things that way, you know, because like, I mean, there are a lot of disagreeing opinions in the community. Um, like, there, like, there are a lot of people who disagree about a lot of things, you know, in matchups and heroes as a whole. So like, I, you know, I completely get it. Like, 
I, I think that like that's something that like a lot of other card games could take away from Fab is like learning to like not take things personally when someone's like, yeah, I don't think that's right, or like I don't like this deck or something like that, you know, like so that is one thing I really like about this game. Dude, if you don't went back to back at Pro Tour Callings, that would have been awesome, Taylor. And I bet it did sting, man. I you know, I imagine that's a was a tough one to swallow for sure, you know. So, and if it's too soon, I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't help it, man. But yeah, no, I, uh, I get it, dude. Yeah, Brad, absolutely. Like when I play Warrior, dude, I played Warrior the other day, and like, I a lot of people were like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and I, I mean, I, I think all I can do is laugh at moments like that. Um. So, I mean, even if even if they throw something else here, I can block like if they throw like a I mean, I guess if it's two pumps, it's definitely correct to take damage here because if they have two pumps, like I I want to be able to block this out here. You're watching this stream because you like hanging out, Josh. Get out of here talking all that trash, bro. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, Sam is like Sam. Like what? What Sam's saying is very true. Like, like uh, Sam is somebody who like I think that like on like some like a fundamental level like we disagree on like how the Victor deck should be built and like kind of played in a lot of matchups. And like I, I mean, I've seen Sam do very well and like have very good runs with the deck. Like, yeah, that's it's actually like a phenomenal example of what what I'm trying to talk about. <laughs> Trent said I take everything personally. <laughs> Playing in the Battle Hard in Atlanta? Yes, sir. Trying to decide what I want to play in Atlanta. Um, I'm not sure if I want to play... We don't really want to... I mean, I guess we can arsenal one of these, right? Like, we still have Crown, so we should block out here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to decide, like, what I want to play um, in Atlanta. But yeah, I'll be, I'll be playing in Atlanta. Are you guys going to Atlanta? No, I agree. It... So it's it's interesting because it's like there are a lot of times when like I feel like there are, are, you know, like a lot of people think that like there is one objectively right line all the time. And sometimes I agree, but sometimes I really disagree. So I like I think there's a lot of like I think there's a lot of like interesting like back and forth there. Yeah, you'll see a lot of prism when Joe my leaves 100 percent. I say, what are you doing when you play Victor? I love to play Victor, dude. You know that. Don't don't come in here acting all surprised. Everybody, know, everybody knows I love to play Victor. Um, I mean, we're probably just supposed to block six here, right? Like we already have two frailty tokens, so like the idea of playing like crush the weak for five feels pretty bad. Like we have twenty nine life. Like we can give up. We can give up some hits here. Like I think we're just supposed to block efficiently and pass. <laughs> Excuse me, and pass. Especially when we have a hand like this that'll like try to end the game um, because they can give us three, four, five from hand and they'll take three from this if we play the Terra Sunder and the Crush the Weak here in the same turn. Still trying to figure out what to play. Samesies. Samesies. Stonks autocorrect sucks. <laughs> oh, because it said stones start rising. You meant to say stonks. That's hilarious. Play Fi? Oh, man. Games will be over sooner so you can get food. So I have to say, like, playing Magic for years, I did thoroughly enjoy playing Burn all the time um, because, like, I, I, you know, like, everybody jokingly called it the Smoker's deck, but I enjoyed playing Burn because, like, I do think that there was, um, like, I think there's a lot of, like, value, actually, over the course of a tournament and being able to eat. You know, being able to take that time to eat. There, like, truly is a lot of value in that, in my opinion. Um, three, six. I mean, I guess they could have back-to-back -back rain raisers here, but probably not likely, right? And then we just go ahead and give the sink. Um, yo, let's go, Sam, with four months of prime. Sam, you the real MVP. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. That means a lot, man. A lot of great people you could share that with every month, and I appreciate you sharing that with me, man. 
means a bunch. I have a hair in my eye or something. Jesus. Um, let's play this ink below here. I mean, Rain Razors would be unfortunate for us, but I was like, I'm kind of just like playing to like the odds that they have two, um, that they have them back to back like that. So we'll throw seven, which um, forces one card out of their hand technically. A block, a three block, four or five, they take two, go to one, and that's all the damage they can take there. So, might play Kano. Bro, get out of here, Taylor. You're, yeah, I hear trolling. You're not going to play Kano. Zach must always also consume. What? What are you talking about, Trent? <laughs> oh, were you a burn player, Tameshi? Nice. Let's go. Yeah, Josh just likes to disagree with me. That's okay. That's like his role in our friendship, though. It's like his role in our friendship. Thank you my time for relaxing and laughing at my friends not getting to value restroom. I mean, hey, like there's there's a lot of like I mean, dude, there is a lot of value in in being able to take like bathroom breaks and stuff like 100 percent. You will never hear me laugh at anybody who talks about how they play a fast deck because they like to have time to eat a hot dog. Like I just I don't know, like when Phi's the best deck in the format, you'll see me playing Phi 100 percent of the time. And when five feels kind of like lackluster, you just won't see me playing it, honestly. If I lose this matchup, what, Josh? I mean, God, I really don't hope I don't lose this matchup, but I've seen crazier things happen, so. We will, we will see what happens. And don't worry, Liam, I have not forgot about your big hydrate. We uh we got this. Um I, so it kind of does, honestly. There's a lot like there like I also agree with that that there is a lot of value to be had from I mean, this just puts us like right now like this just puts us to Like, if we take 8, we go to 21, then we go to 19 off the Pox tokens. So, like, we can just take this here to throw to throw 10 at them. And if they do have a Codex, then we can discard the Choke Slam. Nah, okay, let's go. You love to see it. Um, I think it's definitely better to just go ahead and throw the Thunderquake here. Um, and then... Arsenal the choke slam for another turn because I mean this is 10 so like this requires two cart two three blocks from hand and they can give us tunic and cross wrap if they want but yeah they're gonna have to give us multiple cards like this if they don't want to give us their equipment they're gonna have to give us another card from hand here which is really nice I mean we go to you know we go to 19 and then we have choke slam for next turn which is really solid yeah like I I I there was a lot of times, like, when I played Oldham, like, when, like, you know, at the end of tournaments, like, I felt like I was always, like, mentally exhausted because it was, like, it took a lot of energy to, like, sit and, you know, try and figure out what I wanted to be doing every turn and, like, how to run Lexi out of cards, and it was it was tough, so I get that. I 100%. <laughs> I'm following 100% because this is so stupid favored for me. And the funny part is, like, Yo, let's go. Temeshi gifting out a sub to Josh. Dude, let's go. Temeshi, you the real MVP, man. Thank you for that, fam. I appreciate that. Appreciate that a whole bunch, man. <laughs> Who did what? <laughs> um, this this matchup's not stupid favored, by the way. Like, like don't get me wrong, like I think that like I have like some value in this matchup, but like this matchup is not stupid favored by any means. Um, like not 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 now. Like not 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 like it was against Bravo. Like I don't have cards like Starstruck and Crippling Crush to like really punish them. Um so like this this matchup's not stupid favorite in my opinion. Uh my my opponent has played this game very poorly for a lack of a better term. Like every really good Azalea player I've ever played, like it's very close because they find the opportunities to push damage through. So Aw. Um, I mean, yeah, we should just do this, right? I can try to try to win one here. Honestly, you'd love to see it. Let's make a surge, and then we want to keep Boulder Drop and Cranial Crush in the deck. 
So let's just go ahead and throw 10 at our opponent. And we're probably looking at three cards in a tunic here, if I had to guess. You're like 99.99% sure that Victor is harder to beat than... That, like, Victor... Like, you're saying that, like, you think this is tougher... Like, playing into Victor is tougher for Azalea than it is playing into Bravo? I would be curious to know why you think that, Taylor. Like... And it's very close. Yeah, I mean, I honestly think it's a very close matchup here. Dude, your wife brought you food while you're working? Dude, let's go. What a... Your wife. Your wife's a real G out here, dude. That's awesome, man. There's nothing better than, like, getting brought food. I took Carly ice cream at work the other day, and she was like... <laughs> She, I didn't tell her I was coming by. I just like rolled in and the lady at the front desk knew me and I like waved at her and told her to like, you know, just kind of like, shh. And I walked in and like gave Carly ice cream and she was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh. Okay, so what happened with the double reckless play? Tell me, tell me about this. And he got trolled so hard by RNG today. Yeah, I, I heard, I heard a lot of people talking about variants in his chat. I also had, I also heard that he was having some like technical issues like, I, I was there today when he was having technical issues like today and like I think on Tuesday a little bit like I hated to see that you know because I know that's frustrating to run into technical issues that way. Also liked his hand just playing rainy boy here. <laughs> Victor is much better into Azalea because after blocks they can throw damage while Bravo has to lean into Hammer while Victor can block 12, throw 8. Victor is the reason I stopped playing Azalea. I mean, so like, Taylor, like you're, like you're right, like what you're saying is like correct and I hear you like that like Victor can block like, you know, up to 9, 9, you know, like 8 to 10, you know, like every turn and like still throw eight or nine back at you sometimes 11 if it works out but like like that that's not that's not an every game scenario you know like that's not all the time um like i don't like like i think people i don't know i think people overvalue how often that actually happens mm, probably supposed to keep that thunderquake in the deck but anyway um i don't know like th that like and it's also like a lot of times like your opponent's like are dominating things like it like i'm gonna crack a gold here i think it's correct to try and find an arsenal card um i probably should have done that before i did anything else but i was gonna pitch this regardless oh that's phenomenal that's absolutely phenomenal um but like like bravo being able to like dominate attacks is like really important in my opinion and the fact that like Azalea can uh, dominate attacks against you is bad because if you get caught without a sink below or a son or, or if you're not playing staunch response in your victor deck like you get caught hurting pretty bad on a couple of those turns. If that happens too many times to you, like, you're down bad. Like, that's that's tough to come back from, man. So, I don't know. Like, I'm definitely, like, again, I'm not just going to sit and be like, oh, you're wrong. Like, you know, because, I mean, one, like, Taylor, like, you've put a lot of reps into the Victor deck. But, like, I don't know. Like, that, like, I, I've played, I've played, like, a few, like, I mean, more than a couple of Azaleas that weren't Talishar Azaleas. And, like, every time I do, like, the game is insanely close. I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm intrigued by that because I didn't think that was, like, an opinion that, like, I was going to, like, like, anybody was going to disagree with. So I'm, I'm really intrigued by your answer there. Like, that, like, that, like, gets my attention, to say the least. Oh, yeah, I forgot we still got, like, Testa Strings and stuff in our deck. Like, we haven't, like... This is the sink below that... Um, no, it's not the sink below that we bottomed earlier. That's... We're still a ways away from that. <laughs> They think Grover was on Azalea until we 14 tuned him on Victor with me and Vero. So, I mean, like, I, I don't get me wrong. I've never lost the matchup, but, like, I just, like, I don't know. Like, uh, I just can't block this out, can I? So, I guess we'll just do this. I mean, use the last point of our equipment here. Just give him that. Like, I think it's fine. Um, like, I've never lost the matchup or anything, but, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I don't... Like, I'm not saying that, like, Victor's not favored. I'm just saying I don't think Victor's stupid favored. But I don't know. Like, I, I'm open to being wrong here. I'm open to being wrong here. 
<laughs> Dark Odious immediately throwing shit at Taylor. I love it. I absolutely love it. You think Sandscour is better for the Guardian matchup? Dude, we tried Sandscour for a while. I actually really like that card. Um, I'm actually like a really big fan of that card. So, I mean, I think I'm just going to throw the Thunderquake and we're just going to arsenal the... We're just going to arsenal the Sync Below here. Well, I guess it depends on if they have another Sync Below. Like, they've only played two, right? Yeah, I should probably... <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Um, so I like if they give me all their cards. Um, I mean, we're we're gonna uh, I, we're gonna Arsenal Spinal Crush. But if they keep a card because of the Sink Below here, because they're last Sink Below, then I'm gonna Arsenal the Sink Below to be able to like try and like stop some damage here. <laughs> okay. Cool. 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 You got to get off this Victor train? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Dude, let's go. Is that a super chat? I just got to think. I don't think I even have notifications set up for super chat, dude. Did that just like pop up? Am I going crazy? Dude, let's go. Thank you. Gray for the $7.99. Dude, thank you so much. That's awesome. I really appreciate that, man. That's uh, I was like, there's a lot of people, great people you could share that with. So I really appreciate you sharing that with me, man. It means a whole bunch. I uh, sorry, it's the first time I've ever seen a super chat come through, <laughs> and I just like honestly wasn't ready for it at all. <laughs> so I really appreciate that, man. It means a bunch. It means a whole bunch. I just assume any assessment that by the card guys and adjacent people regarding matchups is pretty suspect. <laughs> It's pretty suspect just immediately. You just assume that it's like they're like trying to throw us off the scent or something. <laughs> oh, I meant to ask you, how did uh, how did you do in L.A., Darkodius? How'd you do, buddy? You can't you can't go something that you already are. Dude, I like, man, I don't know. I love um, like I, I love Victor. Like, and I know that like I get so much like grief for that, but like I, I thoroughly like, I thoroughly enjoy playing Victor, honestly. Like, I just... Victor's a lot of fun. Like, I, I enjoy... I enjoy the Guardian-style gameplay. Like, I don't know. Like, I just... I feel like it really fits with the way I like to play the game. Um, like, and I, I really like Victor. Like, he's very thematic. Um, so I have to admit, I... Uh, I haven't told anybody this yet. So, I hate foils, and everybody knows that. But I thought it would be super thematic to foil out the Victor deck. So... Hey, there it is. So the super chat, it, there is a notification for it. I just had to pick it up there. Um, I ordered every foil I need for the Victor deck. Except the only the only cards I'm missing are Command and Conquer, Enlightened Strike, and I am missing um, and I'm and I'm missing um, Tectonic Plating because I have a white border one that I like. Um, so we're gonna make this. Sorry, I know I'm like missing the chat like crazy right now. Let's let's do that. Go. You Yo, Cor Corvomics. Hope I'm saying that right. Corvomics. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. Appreciate you being here. Three questions we ask everybody: What's your name? What got you into flesh and blood? And what are your favorite hot dog toppings? Also, if you're new to the channel and like you weren't like you subscribed or you followed when I wasn't live and you're here now, answer those questions, man. I'd love to get to know you. It's like a great part of this. It's like my favorite part of streaming is like getting to hang out and talk to everybody. So. And sorry, guys, I know I'm missing chat like crazy. I'm trying to finish this game here and then I'll come back and finish the chat. 15 turns and we cross the finish line. Yo, let's go. Corvomix, thank you for the prime. I really appreciate that. There's a lot of great content creators you could share that with every month. So I really appreciate you sharing that with me, man. It means a whole bunch. All right, let's update the record here, and then let's see all the chat messages I missed. Let's see everything that I missed. I feel like I missed quite a bit here. Did you show last week? Oh, well, dude, Gray, I really appreciate that, man. I really appreciate the nice words there, and uh, welcome to the channel, and uh, thanks for hanging out, man. It uh, really means a lot. I, uh, I love streaming, and I love hanging out with everybody, dude. Cash the calling? Annoyed, but it is what it is. You're annoying that you... Cash the calling, or you're annoyed from like what happened in LA? 
Sell me the couple of pieces I need for Jeep. <laughs> for cheap, Zigoffer said. That's hilarious, bro. Draft just kind of combusted. I heard that for a lot of people, Dark Curtius. I heard that for a lot of people. Any hot takes from the top eight at PT? Um, so I have to I have to admit, I I was not expecting there to be two hatchet dories in top eight. Um I I honestly thought there would be a warrior in top eight, but I wasn't expecting two, so that was kind of cool. Also, like Dro Mai just like running through everybody and making app in that whole like top eight. Like what a great run. You love to see Yo, Gray, I'm going to assume that you on both platforms, man. I'm going to assume that you here and you there. Dude, thank you for the follow and the double support. I really appreciate that. Oh, one of your teammates got second at the PT? Oh, your teammates with uh, Max? Dude, that's awesome. Maximilian or Max? I th Max, I think. Yeah, the Dory guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a white border like one that I like very much, dude. Still waiting for the altar? Are you talking about the altar of, like, just the horse, Josh? Because I'm actually looking at that. Really enjoy your content. Hope to see you at Nats. Dude, thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that. I am very, I'm very excited about Nats, and I am, like, very, I'm very excited about Nats. I will definitely be there. So, um, unfortunately, I don't know what you guys look like. So, if you run into me at Nats, please come say hi to me. I would love to meet everybody who hangs out on the channel. Um, I just, you know, I can't, <laughs> I don't know what you guys look like. So you guys have to come say hi to me, which I know can be stressful for people, but please come say hi to me. I, I welcome that very much. Oh, dude, Brad, what's, uh, what's the first battle harden you're going to, bro? I'm, I'm excited to, I'm excited for you to go to a, a big event like that, man. Wait, Tameshi, you were on... LSS's most wanted list? I feel like there's a story there that I need to hear. Um, Flak Flock. Uh, Crush the Week is very good into Katsu. I also think it has some, like, random play um, into, like, Bolton and other matchups. But I was really worried about Katsu. And to be honest, I still am. Um, so, like, my two copies of Crush the Week are kind of, like, me conceding that I want some extra help into Katsu. Um, and that it also plays well against, like, Fi um it's really good into it's it, it's randomly situationally good into bolton um and like some other like random decks here and there so i do like it i'm like the one canadian on a random team of germans and other eu guys but Zy dude, I, so i bet you you guys probably have a really hard time testing like finding times to test with time zones dude that's awesome though yeah i have to admit i i somebody told me that you were from canada or maybe i saw it on your twitter i think i saw it on your twitter the other day with somebody's fan like fantasy team for la and you were tagged in one um and i saw like something about like you know canada and i and then when you said max was on your team i was like isn't he from germany <laughs> dude that's awesome i'll be working the prize wall so if i see you i'll let you know dude absolutely i'm sure i will be at the prize wall trying to find some tickets after i scrub out of the out of the main event dude three amnesia is going to be stock Interesting. Dory. Put him on the whole thing. If not for KO, who is playing in it? Oh my, early on. Oh my. Yeah, so the KO, like, actually made a play where they went for the Wild Ride or something like that, right? And, like, they discarded a non six and, like, it completely shut their whole turn down when they didn't have to. I didn't see exactly what happened, but I heard everybody told me it was kind of a greedy line from the KO player for sure, is what I heard. <laughs> He single-handedly convinced me to just give up on the Katsu matchup. When you guys are saying, um, uh, is Yorick somebody on your all's team? Sorry, I don't, I, don't, I don't know who we're talking about here. God, I'm missing so much of chat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep up. It was a pulping? Yeah, I mean, pulping, like, Wild Ride. Like, yeah, they, they both have that same effect there, so I get it. But, oh, he threw a pulping at face Let's instead of somewhere else? Okay. You Yo, Flack Flock, thank you for the follow on Twitch. We got those three questions. What's your name? What got you into flesh and blood? And what are your favorite hot dog toppings? That courtesy, that that uh, that one is uh, courtesy of Drew. Yorick is a god Katsu gamer? Okay. All right, let's go then. I'm all about some Katsu, man. I like people who play Katsu. It's fun. Victor Proxy's altars? Yeah, those aren't tournament legal, which I told everyone, but apparently kept using them in the calling PT. So they were looking for the guy giving them out. Oh my god, Tameshi, that's hilarious, bro. That's amazing. 
Oh. Yo, Captain, what's up, dude? Oh, he's the guy, he's the 56 damage guy against Victor in the finals. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's cool. That's awesome. I actually watched that. They were streaming it, uh, they were streaming it on Twitch. I, uh, I saw that they were streaming it on Twitch, so that's, uh, that's awesome that that's your teammate, dude. That's really cool. Yo, let's go. Gray with the super chat over on YouTube and Gray with the prime sub on Twitch. Dude, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. That's a, that's a lot of support, brother. That really means a lot, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hot dogs aren't a thing in your country. Okay, that's fair. Where are you from, Flack Flock, if you, don't mind me, uh, if you don't mind me asking? A free blitz deck got you into the game. Well, dude, welcome to Flesh and Blood, man. Uh, it's a phenomenal game. The community is amazing, and the game is even better. Like, I love everything about the game. Friends, traveling, like, the competition, it's all phenomenal, man. I hope you love it just as much as I have. He could have clawed first, or go Mirror Guy and Chromai with Pulping Claw. So, I, so everything that I heard slip, everybody kept saying that he should have clawed first, is what I heard um, from everybody. So, I'm, I'm like, that's what a lot of people were telling me. That's what I was hearing from a lot of people, that he should have clawed first before... Um, before we, before he threw the pulping or wild rod or whatever it was. So that's cool. <laughs> okay. All right. I gotta, I gotta go get a, we're going to go fill up some water here for another big hydrate. Um, we're going to take like two minutes. I'm going to use the bathroom, get some more water. And when I come back, we'll be playing more Victor. Thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. And Josh, you can get out of here, man. Uh, that 10-minute timer saves me from drowning while I stream, brother. That thing saves me from drowning while I stream. Okay. Let's uh, let's put up another game here. We won our first game against Azalea, so looking pretty good to start the night out. So, oh, we got another big hydrate from Tameshi. So, we got two big hydrates coming. Okay, woo! <clears throat> one down, and one to go. We're playing against KO. So right now, my 60 that I'm playing um, is I cut one Trounce and bring in the, the Sync Belows, because um, I play a 58-card main deck. 
Um, I'm not really a big fan of pulverize. If I go first, I'll bring in one pulverize just for the heck of it. Oh, trying so hard not to stream snipe, dude. Dude, bring it on, Taylor. Bring it on, Taylor. <laughs> Slip immediately called me a coward. <laughs> oh, but you know, a lot of times they're playing flesh bag into me, so I'm not really a fan of the Yoigan cards um, personally. Um, but well, you know, there's a lot of like I've I've heard some like differing opinions from people over like you know the last like over the last like I don't know like two two to three weeks. I've heard some differing opinions there, so. Um, if we get lucky enough to win a trounce, we get lucky enough to win a trounce, but I, I you know, I, I don't bet the, I don't bet the farm on it or anything. All right. We got one more big hydrate coming here in just a minute. I'm trying to let that water settle before we get into the big hydrate going. <laughs> Bets on Taylor. All right, dude, let's do that. Um, I had, I didn't do that last game. Let's do that right now before this game gets started. Prediction time. Um, will I win this game? Yes or no? You guys can bet your channel points. It's just kind of like a fun way to like kind of bet and bet and predict with everybody else here. Um, will I win this game? Um, you guys can bet on yes or no. If you're hanging out on Twitch, let's go ahead and use a trounce. Um, man, that's a big sag. Um, but no, we're not going to clash again. Man, that's a big sag right there. I mean, it is what it is. Like, it's definitely a W for them. Oh my god, the new brute chest. Bro, what? What are you talking about, Taylor? Is that like a new card that got spoiled that I haven't seen yet or something? <laughs> Want to find a sink below early to try and put in my arsenal? Um... I don't know that, like, we'll really get the, uh... Oh, wow. He, like, even took the time to... There's a new brute chest? Oh, you put it in the general chat? Okay, hang on one second. Let me... I I'm not gonna pull it up on the screen here, but... <laughs> Alright, so let's see. It's a two-block with temper, and it's an action. Destroy this. Attack action cards with six or more power cost you one less to play this turn, and it has go again. Jesus. Um. Okay. Yeah. That's a thing. That's dude. That's dumb. Um. So disable requires a card from hand and a piece of equipment. Terra Sender Hammer makes them give us a card and and a piece of equipment. I think let's throw the disable here. We'll arsenal the debilitate here and just like the quad blues just kind of tell Carly I'm baking points again. I'll be sure to let her go. I'll be sure to let her know. <laughs> yeah, no blocks would have been better there, dude. No blocks would have been better. Yeah, everybody's like, well, this is why they banned Berserk. <laughs> now, now we all know the real reason on why they banned Berserk, actually. Um, let's see. Does my, like, does this need an update or something? Like, let's see if we can find Twitch in here and just, like, I guess it needs an update. Yeah, we're going to update Twitch because, like, I like to keep it open on, like, a different screen, like, this not OBS so I can see if there's other issues or anything like that. All right, let's see if with the update, it's any better now. We're going to try it now that we have, now that we have the update. <laughs> cool Savage Feast for free into Beat Down for two. Jesus, that sounds really dumb, actually. I am a really big fan of that card. Um, what Massacre, I think is what it's called. That's like one of my favorite cards in like the brute card pool that people can play honestly like i'm a huge fan of that um and i want that card to like that's a card that i want to play in like every brute deck um it's one of the biggest reasons i want to play reinar to be honest is because i really like the concept of being able to play um of being able to play hmm i'm gonna draw a card a lot of resources i bet then 
Um, the idea of being able to play Massacre consistently. Massacre is like a really cool card. Like I think that like fits the Brute. I don't know. It feels very like thematic um, of the Brute. I don't know. Like very much so in my opinion. Oh, it could be part of the K KO precon. That's not a that's not a bad call actually. That could be something that we're looking at. Like it could be part of the KO precon. I wonder if it's because I don't have my Wi-Fi on on my phone. Like, let's see if it works with the Wi-Fi on on my phone on Twitch. It appears to be working with the Wi-Fi on. Um, so this is for seven. So let's give a choke slam and balance of justice and take two here. We could give a quicken token, but I don't want to give the quicken token here. I don't think that's correct. Yeah, Brute does have a good fridge, and like now they just have a better fridge. Like it's crazy. Oh, it's literally a cropped image from the Armory Deck product sheet. So it's literally going to be in the thing. Dude, that's insane. The URL has KO's sales sheet in it. Okay, so it's like literally just going to be in the pre-con deck. Like, that's cool. That's cool, though. It's good that like they're giving people those cards. You know? Like, that's awesome. Like in the pre-con deck, like they're making those cards like way more viable, and I really like that. Um, this is tough. Like, I guess I could have activated this, but I would rather just save that for another turn because like this was a pretty lackluster turn from them. I hate to give up the choke slam here, but like, I mean, I guess we could just block three, take three, and then throw the choke slam over the debilitate here. I don't know. I'm a pretty big fan of keeping my life up, even if it means giving up a choke slam there. I don't know. That's it's an interesting decision. It's kind of cool though. Like I'm pretty like excited that they're gonna put that in the pre-con deck. Like I don't know. Like, like I just feel like this is another great example of like you know like LSS listens to us when we say that like hey like we're frustrated about something or like you know the game has a high barrier of entry or whatever, and they're like yeah you know what like. Let's find a common ground solution here where us and LGSs can make money and we can get you cards easier. And they're doing stuff like this. It's great, man. Like, LSS is awesome, dude. I like For all the hate they get, dude, like, people can cram it, man. They're awesome. Period. Okay, so, Tameshi, I, I hear what you're saying. Like, I don't, I don't like the exclusive cards in an armory deck. I'm not a fan of that. Um... I'm not a fan of them giving exclusive cards in Armory decks. So, like, the the Professor thing. The, like, Talarian Community College thing that they did. That oh, Another one. Jesus! That's a great example of, like, how, like, a lot of cards... Like, you know, like, Civic Steps is a $12 rare because it's only in that one set. Um, you know, cards like Bittering Thorns were expensive. Cards like Boulder Drop are expensive. And it's, like, that kind of stuff I don't like. Um, I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff. Just, I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff, honestly. Um, so. Not saying I hate it, but also don't love it. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that the chest is in the pre-con only, like, I'm not going to lie, I don't like that. That's, like, not like a... Like, I want it to be in the set, too. But I had to get back to stream to freak out about the new Brute cards. Dude, Trent. Like, we were just talking about that, fam. Like, it's kind of crazy. Um, I guess I can still do this now. I mean, I might as well, right? Like. So, I can give a card here. and And I can give Civic Steps. Yeah, like, giving a card in Civic Steps here is fine. Um, now, do I want to give Spinal Crush in Civic Steps and go go again into Command & Conquer? I don't think that's correct. I can give E-Strike and Civic Steps. Take one. And then we can give... Command and Conquer and the shield here 
and then throw Spinal for nine, which takes two cards from their hand. <laughs> On the upside, I don't play Brute. <laughs> I'm about to make Show No Mercy fit the ideal BRB cost curve. I mean, yeah. So they had nothing to do there? Intriguing. I mean, the fact that they had nothing to do there is like a major win for us because the Quicken and the Agility token don't matter. Like, anytime an opponent has an Agility token and you give them a Quicken token, you have hurt yourself literal 0%. Unless someone right now is able to prove to me a situation where an Agility, like that you can use a Quicken and an Agility, but like, I, to my knowledge, it's not possible. So, yeah, I mean, that's true. Like, I'll probably buy the pre-con, like, just to, like, you know, have the chess piece. Um, or honestly, probably what I'll do is just buy the chess piece from somebody. Um, but... Okay. Mm so, they kept a lot of cards right there. Surprised. Oh, this has go again. Okay, this has go again. Sorry. I was like, I was like, looking at, you know, I mean, this could still be a pummel. It truly could be a pummel. Um, I think we're going to block like this and hope we win the trounce. Um, no. We did win the second one. Did they go back to back runner runner? I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of runner runner in this deck, but. That's just me. I mean, it's true. It is literally probably just going to be better than cross trap, which makes it good enough. Um, I mean, we can just block six here, right? Like, I think this is like safe to just block six. Get the command to conquer back in arsenal here. I think that's the best play here. Yeah, so, I mean, Slip, I'm going to be honest, like, I think it, like, it just replaces cross trap, like, kind of to, like, what, like, um, Moore was saying just a second ago. Um, Brad, so I'm going to be honest, I don't know where everybody found it, but if you're in the Discord, somebody posted it in the Discord, I do know that. <laughs> Make a surge, throw Command and Conquer, and then Arsenal the Choke Slam is pretty good. Hmm, that's terrifying. Um, God, really wish we had a way to throw the choke slam. It would force cards out of their hand. Oh man! All right, well, strap in, strap in, folks. It's about to get uh, it's about to get bumpy. Cause if their hand does anything, they're just gonna hang on to it. Yeah, tip or two is wild. <laughs> Ko needed more of a fridge. <laughs> Yeah, dude, the tip or two on that card is wild, bro. Like, if that card, um, if that card, like, had, like, one block on it, like, I, I don't know. Like, even if it was one Battle Worn, it would just be better than Cross Trap, I think. But, like, it's, like, that card's insane. That card's absolutely insane. It is a really good card against Katsu. Dude, that card, like, it, like, that card at rare would be bananas, bro. Three more block could actually make like the difference you need. See, glist like that's what I'm saying. Like glistening steel blade being only in the Rhinar versus Dory deck. Like I don't like that. Like I, I, I might just be alone in that camp. I don't know. Like and I know like Tameshi, you know, obviously like he made the he make he made the comment that he agrees with me. But like I just I don't like I don't like that kind of stuff. I don't know. Like I don't think that's good development. Like I don't think it's good for the game. Like I just I don't know. Like I I don't I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Um no, I'm not willing to clash again. You can have another agility. Woo! Yay for you. All right, so we just have to find a way to like try to like throw our choke slam and not like, you know, completely like throw away an 8-point lead here. I mean, that's a that's a W, bro. That's a W. That is a I mean, don't get me wrong, like that's still good for them. Um
So we're definitely blocking like this, right? Like right now we're taking six and I don't really want to take six. The question is, do I want to Arsenal debilitate or E-Strike? Debilitate is now at a point to where like it requires a card and Fleshbag, which is really good. E-Strike requires zero cards, but it also, this card requires me to keep two cards in the current hand. I mean, being able to keep two cards doesn't sound that impossible. I think we're going to throw Arsenal to debilitate because it has higher upside as opposed to E-Strike. Um, plus if we just draw, like if we do win off the test of strength here. Um, yeah, no, this is great. So now we get to, we're up five and we have three, six, seven, and they have two, three, four points of equipment block left. Now they do have a much higher ceiling than we do. So there is that. Part of me kind of just wants to throw the Spinal Crush because, like, if they want to give me one card and Flesh Bag and Scabs, I'm okay with that. Um, this is also an off-surge turn. Like, we could pitch this to make a Surge. If we pitch the Debilitate to make a Surge, we can throw the Choke Slam and Arsenal this. Or I can just leave this here and throw the Spinal Crush. I think I'm just going to throw the Spinal Crush. Like, we should play the Spinal Crush when we can, in my opinion, so we're just going to do it. I guess I'll have to wait and see it the old-fashioned way. Um, after this game, I don't care to pull up the picture, Brad. Um, I don't care to pull up the picture. Yeah, so to Justin's point there, like, I mean, like, I'm all about them putting cards that are in a set or, like, in something in a pre-con. Um, and I get it. LSS is doing it to incentivize people to buy... <coughs> excuse me. They're incentivizing people to buy... Precons, like they're like, oh, like play the precons, like, and I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, like I, I, I get what you're saying, but like, it, like, especially if it is like, like, like bittering thorns is a great example. If you're putting bittering thorns in your deck, like it should be a three of one hundred percent in your precon. We could do surge and the choke slam right there. I think that like throwing, I think that throwing the, um, I don't know, I really like throwing the. Uh, the Spinal Crush last turn. This is 9 go again, so they technically get the Tunic after this. I mean, like, the agility tokens don't matter. Um, the only way we could even use, like, we could technically throw Hammer and then throw the Choke Slam, even if they give us Flesh Bag, but we're required to go to 25 and then go to 22 to do that. Um, and I really don't like that play. I really don't think that's the play we want to be making. Um, so I think what we're going to do is I can block with Boulder Drop and Thunderquake here. Take three, go to 31. And then I can take three, go to 28. And then I can throw Choke Slam at my opponent, making a new Surge. I didn't really take a... Um, I didn't really take a good look at the, uh, at the art, to be honest, but I'm sure it's cool. LSS never really disappoints with the art on a lot of cards like that. Um, yeah, Trin, I'm, I'm, or I'm sorry, Slip, I'm very surprised that they, that my opponent brought in Clash of Agility into me. Um, like, they know that we want to be clashing. Um, so I, I'm a little surprised at that decision as well by my opponent, but I don't know. Maybe they know something we don't. Like, when my opponent, like, brings in cards against me that, like, I'm not expecting them to, to bring in, I'm always like, man, is my opponent, like, living in 2040? Or is, like, is just my opponent just not know any better? You know, like, I don't know. Like, that's always, like, one of the questions I have to ask myself, in my opinion. Like, there's just a lot of things that go into stuff like that. All right, while we're waiting on our opponent, we got that second big hydrate. We we're following up for Tameshi's second big hydrate. All right. Ooh. Gonna use the bathroom a lot tonight. Probably the latter. I mean, more than likely. More than likely, like, like, I don't know, like, when it's a card I don't know, I assume it's, like, hot tech. When it's, like, Clash of Agility, I'm like, okay, like, I don't know, like, Clash of Agility into me, like, 
if if one of you guys were able to provide a sound reason on why they did that, I would be like, okay, but we tie a lot. Like we tie a lot as as like here as clashing heroes. Like we just we naturally tie a lot. So I don't know. They turn off choke slam. Intriguing. They let choke slam crush to turn that off. I don't know. That's interesting. Like. So their might token is irrelevant. Their hero ability is turned off now. Like, I don't know. Isn't your opponent Taylor? Is this Taylor? I mean, I've never seen Taylor with that name before. But I'm not going to say it's not Taylor. <laughs> Am I? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Robert. I mean, I think I'm good. <laughs> oh, I look thirsty. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> um oh we have another big hydrate all right i have to go get some more water after this game then uh, plus i gotta tell you guys a story i went to the dentist yesterday and i gotta tell you guys a story um so i can go to 22 throw spinal crush and then arsenal the sink below i don't know like I hate to take six here, but I want to throw the Spinal Crush. I think we're supposed to throw the Spinal Crush here, honestly. <laughs> Someone sent it in another Discord? Well, dude, I'm glad you get to look at it. I'm glad you get to look at it. I'm stoked for the new blue. What's the new blue, More Was that in part of the picture that I haven't got to, like, fully, fully uh, look at yet? I haven't got to see the picture yet of everything, so it's possible that, like, there's a new blue I haven't seen there. You can play Mario like, oh, dude. Yeah, so we have a Switch, but I don't know if like like we have the online client for it yet. So, dude, John, brother, you're just like a wizard, man. A wizard's never late. He arrives precisely when he wants to. I some, Gandalf said something like that. <laughs> I think Gandalf said something like that. All right, so we got another big hydrate for Robert after this, which means I got to take a break. Um... To, uh, I gotta take a break to get some more water, um, and then I will, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys about my, uh, my trip to the dentist yesterday. Um. No, let's fucking go, oh my god! Nom, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong, like, we don't get to do anything with it, but it's cool, right? Like, it's just fun to win that way. We're still gonna arsenal the sink below. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I mean... The agility and the quicken, like, at the same time, are irrelevant, so... <laughs> Do I block with Thunk and take five? And then throw Debilitate for eight? Or is this a... I mean, we could just use the Sink Below as value here. Like, we haven't seen a Pulping yet. and But, like, with the Clash of Agility in the list, I'm wondering if they're on Pulpings against me. I wonder if they realized that I'm bringing in sink belows and they made the exchange to do that for to do that. I don't know. That's interesting. So I'm going to block here and sink below and take one. Like we're just going to take the value off of sink below. And we're going to put the golden sun on the bottom. Now we have two pieces of gold, like which I'm really not one to use here. Um, I'm not really one to use early, but but there is a world is there a world now even if we crack and have one floating we'd have to pitch this blue to throw this and then they could just flesh bag this away so there's no world with the flesh bag up where we can use the agility token um not reasonably anyway so may the force be with you gandalf from star trek dude my brain is like having an aneurysm at trent's message bro <laughs> Um, but fits a blue pitch to cost curve. So, are you having internet issues, man? I'm sorry to hear that, Robert. So let's see. It's a one cost blue block three five attack can only be played if you discarded a six. So it's like a weird graveling growl. Ah, huh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. I'm definitely going to bring up double reckless the next time I see him stream. Um, Ricardo, to answer your question, I am a firm believer that, um, 
Miller's Grindstone is not the way that you win games into Brutes, um, uh, like like Ko, Leviah, or Reinar. Um, that the way that you win, oh, just banish like fifteen cards, bro. I mean, we could get lucky and he could hit like a cast bones or like you know another I don't know like something else here. It's like not likely, but it could happen. It's one of the values of playing uh, Ko, but. Um, uh, Titan's Fist is much better into, uh, the Brute matchups, and, uh, it's just really good into Brute. Uh, Miller's Grindstone, once it turns to three against, like, any other hero, is just, like, really bad, in my opinion. There's a lot of lost value there, um, in my opinion. Like, I just, it, it feels not great. Since they have the Sink Below, I'm gonna go ahead and use, you know what, I'm just gonna take four here, actually. We'll save the equipment for something else. I'm going to give Sync Below. Let's see. Do we have Test of Strengths left? Yeah, I'm going to sink one of the Choke Slams here and try to find a better like card to block with. We could find a Trounce or a Test of Strength we could win with. But yeah, Ricardo, I really don't like... Um, I really don't like... Uh, I really don't like Miller's Grindstone into, into the Brute matchups. And the, the matchups that you actually get a lot of value out of it it's just kind of like meh, like in my opinion. So I've just cut it completely from the list um, because once your grindstone ticks down to three against all these brute decks, your hammer's just not there in my opinion. So yeah, I don't know if I'm like, if I need to refresh or what's going on here. Um, what did Justin say? Doesn't breaking gold give you an arsenal? Um, I'm gonna tell him no problem. Um, but I mean, if I didn't want to make a surge there last turn, Justin, I could have. I could have defaulted to making a surge and actually like have an arsenal. Um, I'm always very skeptical of doing something like that because of the like potential like loss that i get from drawing into a blue choke slam now right there i would have drawn into um i would have drawn into uh i would have drawn into the sink below which would have been absolutely nuts right there but yeah if he's got Yeah, if he's got a blue, he can claw and then see and see me, or claw and whatever's in his arsenal. Even if he has a yellow, if it's a two-coster here, he could, like, claw into, like, swing big, which would be pretty bad for me. Because um, I'd like to just be able to block with the Crush the Week and throw the Golden Sun for 10. The way he's approaching this makes me think that he cannot attack me with two more things here. Just like that. Um, so let's take five and go to 12. I think that's fine. I would rather keep this equipment for a later time. Um, and we'll just go ahead and throw 10 back at our opponent. I think that's okay. We didn't have an arsenal to get like blown out with there. So I'm, I'm pretty okay with this line. Thankfully his hand ended up being pretty awkward. Um, that was the third blood rush bellow. And I'm very thankful that we were able to get out of the blood rush bellow in, in like as good a life total as we did to still be able to throw 10 this way. Um, John, so I'm not sure what issue, like, I'm, I'm reading your message there that, like, so every time you go onto Fabrary, you copy and paste a deck, and it says error when you click on the deck link on Fabrary. So, like, a lot of times, like, if you're trying to, like, if you're trying to, like, copy a deck link, um, to, like, into Talishar, if you have something else in your clipboard, it might also be pulling that in, so, like, you might be getting more into the clipboard than you want to be and that might be part of your problem but i'm not sure i don't really run into that issue um i'm not really sure hey aggro did joe reach out to you um like on discord is that like a buddy of yours or something i don't i don't have any messages or anything robert yeah I'm, i don't if one of your buddies is supposed to reach out to me i haven't heard oh my god Uh, you let your guard down for one second. For one second. And this is what people do to you. 
Uh, all right. You you get you get this one, Robert. You get this one, Robert. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Robert one aggro zero. <laughs> Dude, like, I, I have been so on alert for jokes in the last, like, month. Ever since Trent got me that one night, I have been on such high alert for the last, like, two months. And then, like, I just completely fell for it. I, dude, okay, first off, I love Phineas and Ferb. I, I had siblings that were that age growing up, and they like to watch Phineas and Ferb. Um, but... You're not getting me with the Candace these nuts joke. Get out of here, Trent. Nah. -uh. See, this is this is where y'all go wrong. Y'all, right after I get got by something, y'all try to come in here and make another joke, and like y'all just there's no patience. There's no patience for y'all. Oh, uh, almost sounds like propaganda. <laughs> no. Uh, well, listen, you chose to pivot at the right time and it really worked out for you. So I, I, I give you that, Robert. You, you got me. Yo, also, it just popped up a little go, a little bit ago. Let's go. Allie, Carly, and Ben, all with eight months of big support on YouTube. Thank you, guys. And their notifications didn't pop up because, you know, they're family and friends and they just love to support me no matter what. So I like to shout them out anyway. Also, a couple of days ago, I don't think I was live or maybe I was. Trent with five months of big support, dude. Let's go. Y'all are the best. I have like, like, I mean, you guys are just like, like I have the best community in the world. I tell everybody that like, you guys are awesome. Like I love everybody who comes and hangs out in the stream. Okay. Really wish we had a way to like utilize the token here. Um, part of me. I think I'm just going to go to six and throw 10 at them. I think this swing favors me if I can arsenal the sink below. Now, there's there's no way for me to, like, value play the sink below there and, like, actually use the quicken, which is really not a big deal, but, like, I could have just... I could have just given tech plating gauntlets and the sink there for value, but I think I'd rather just throw 10 at them here. I want I want you to be like, damn, this guy's here, dude. Josh, I don't feel that way about anybody, man. You're gonna you have to try real hard to make that a reality, fam. Um, nah, I'm good. You can have an agility. Um, are they going to one? Well, that's kind of scary. I'm glad we kept the sink below here. Um, let's see, what message are you trying to push through here? Normally, it pops up and asks me about. Um, I don't really care about the timestamps, but I do like, I mean, I have moderation activity on, so like, I don't know. Oh, Car Carly, Carly pushed it through already. That's why I'm not seeing anything. Carly, Carly pushed it through. <laughs> that's, that's why they're okay. Dude, <laughs> Everybody just likes to get me, dude. Challenge accepted? All right, bring it on, Josh. Bring it on. Um, I mean, we can't stop this. Like, the agility token means that we would just be wasting a sink below here. I think this is a good use of our equipment to stay at six. I really don't want to go to four because a lot of people have been on two reckless swings lately. Dude, seriously? Um, so we're going to put theirs on the bottom. I was like, and then we have a pretty hefty chance of winning after that. Um, we wouldn't even have tied. I would have been giving up a gold there, so I think it was necessary. And we can just tear us under hammer here to close out the game, right? Well, I guess if we... Sink? We would have to sink to do that, right? If we sink the test of strength here, I think I'm going to try. Like, I hate giving up the sink here for that reason, but like, if that lets us in the game, like, I think that's pretty good. Okay. This is also fine, I think. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is throw Debilitate for 8 here. Um, and then next turn, we just need to keep 2 blues to be able to go tear Asunder Hammer to end the game here. And this takes 3 cards out of their hand. That guy is Drew. What? No, no, that's definitely that's definitely Josh. There's no way that's Drew. Get out of here. Well, thank you for pushing it through, Carly. I wasn't even like. They just concede. Oh, they just say good game. Okay. I guess they just. I guess they realize the writing's on the wall there. I don't know. Um. Anyway, fourteen turns and we were able to close it out there. So let's see. 2-0 tonight. Games are going pretty well for us so far. Feeling uh feeling pretty good tonight. Couple of a uh, couple of good wins so far. Um okay, we got two big hydrates. I gotta get water for. Um so we got like another two-minute break. I'm gonna use the bathroom, get some more water, and when I come back, more victor. Thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. <clears throat> so i don't know what happened but slip carly showed me your message and so i like i saw it carly showed it to me when when i was at the break there i guess like i don't know why i couldn't see it um like i i don't know why i couldn't see it on my screen that was really weird um but anyway yeah so now we got to put slip on there because i have now fallen for another these nuts jokes i didn't dude i didn't even know propaganda was one i didn't even know that was on there
We need to get some royalty-free music for these Be Right Back waiting screens. The talking after silence is jarring sometimes. I can probably, we could probably make that happen. We could probably have like some, like some crappy elevator music or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I saw your message. Like Carly was like, did you see his message? And I was like, no. And she was like, well, he just said Sag. Like I, she was like, I think like, like if you didn't see it like here. And so, yeah, she showed me afterwards. Like, yeah. So not only did you give me, but that was like a completely new one. Yeah, like take a look at these nuts, like propaganda, like yeah, like like gander, like take a gander. Yeah, no, I I had never even heard that joke before. Like, bro, that that's like not only like that, but like yeah, just I got God. All right, we got two big hydrates coming. <sighs> Jesus. All right, let's end the prediction. Um, everybody voted for me to lose, and I won. Get wrecked, everybody. <laughs> oh, man. Three. Oh, you did one too, Josh? I missed that one. I missed that one. Hey, it's Fort. Yeah, we played against Fort the other night. He also like comes and hangs out on the channel every now and again. Yo, Adam, what's up, dude? How are you, brother? <laughs> Two big hydrates and three more of these nuts jokes. <laughs> um, so against Dory, we're playing sixty-six cards. Excuse me. We're playing all of the go again cards here just in case they are running like a great act swapsies list into us. Um, so we're running like zealous belting in their houses here and we're going to see what we can make happen here. So yeah, we played against fourth the other night on stream. I think I was going to vote to win, but I was cooking pasta. Oh, dude, pasta sounds pretty good right now. Uh, all right, we got a new prediction coming up right now. Will I win this game? Yes or no? We're planning it's Dory. I'm not sure if it's axes dory or if they're on like okay so they are on hatchets um wow that's awesome i mean i kind of want to keep that because man being able to like play go again into that would be unbelievable but i think we have to just like heave this and keep a blue um because like there's just too much value and being able to like use the use the blue um i guess let's put this back into our deck of course, we draw all blues. We would have been rewarded for keeping the zealous belting. This hand would have been zealous belting, making new surge into pulverize for Christ's sakes. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, I think most people are just like playing hatchets now, but some people like are still pivoting into decimator great axe against me. Um, so we just need to keep two blues here, right? So like we're just gonna give. There's no on hit effects. This is just damage. Um, they don't even have grains. Um, I guess they do have Brave Forge Bracers, but... Let's block with Boulder Drop here. Take one. God, Zealous Belting would have been so good in this hand. And then let's just take two. I think this is fine. Um, so I'm going to do the other Big Hydrate in a minute, but uh, there's apparently another one I missed, and I only have two cups of water with me, so... Josh, sorry, man. You're just going to have to wait till I can go back and get more water. <laughs> the one good thing I like about this matchup is that using the Civic Steps is generally, generally pretty on the nose. Like, pretty on the nose most of the time to be able to use the... Uh, to use the old Civic Steps there. Um, let's go five go again, putting this on the bottom, and then we'll go hammer. This is a nine point turn, and like we would have had to have pitched every card in our hand to throw the spinal crush. So going five go again into the Titan's Fist here is much better. And Spinal Crush is an off surge card, um, which means we do not need a surge to make it play very effectively. So arsenaling the spinal crush is a very good hit here for us. I need more points. Don't lose, please. No pressure, right? Sheesh. All right, so with the take it on the chin, they're taking nothing here, and they're probably just going to take the hammer if they care about their hand. Um, if they have go again, they'll probably just give me dynamos and take three, if I had to guess. 
Yep. And then Arsling the Spinal Crush is pretty good. If you lose unsubbing. <laughs> Man, talk about all the pressure, man. Y'all got me over here, like, sweating. Got me over here sweating. Good lord. Um, I would love to be able to win this with a blue. I don't know that that's correct. We just destroyed our shield to do that, and I'm going to be honest, I really don't know that I agree with that, but... I really don't know. Yeah, no, 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 I got two big hydrates to do, which means we'll have... I'll have two cups of water when we come back. Um... So if I throw Zealous, I'll have two floating... Which means I can block with the Pulverize here. So if I block with the Pulverize, I can go Zealous for 6 go again into Command and Conquer. Which is pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. Notably, they put a Sink to the bottom. Um, are you talking about the first one? Yeah, we won Debilitated against Sink, and then we had Trounce and In the Swing. Okay, so we're going to take five here anyway. I mean, that's fine. Like, I guess you're supposed to, like, they're making our Command and Conquer worse here. Oh, they get to swing Hatchet at me again. Um, I don't know why it's for three. I mean, I could just block with the uh, Command and Conquer. Throw this for 10. I don't know. 6 into 6 is pretty good. We don't really have the Command and Conquer effect, though. Mm. No, I did too just a minute ago. And we have the two from Josh. No, you, we had your and Liam's that I did, and so now we have the two from Josh. But the last attack wasn't body. I just looked on the chain. The last attack was mine. Mind. I just looked on the chain. That's why I looked at it. The last attack was the mind. Oh, it gets plus one till the end of the turn. Okay, so that's why. Okay, that makes sense. That's fine. I, I, I did miss that. Um, I mean, oh, save the CNC for later in the game and swing the hammer here. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Like, that's, that's pretty okay, I think. I really, like, I'm gonna have to, like, go back and, like, analyze how worth the shield was. Like, drawing the Pulverize was not great. Um, I would have liked to have drawn a blue so that I could have thrown the Spinal Crush there. But, I mean, I think we did what we could there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it was not a mind goblin. Get out of here. Nah, -uh, fam. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's probably better just to keep that for a late game there. We also have pummels. He said GG to Meshi's points. Um, yes. Donzai, I hope I'm saying that right. Yes, I will be going to Battle Hard in Atlanta. Are you going, um, Donzai? So, block with Spinal Crush. They throw the hatchet. We block with Thunderquake. I think we're just supposed to, like, play the value game at this point. Um, like, I hate to give up two really solid red cards. Like, it might have been better to, like, keep the, keep the Spinal Crush and Arsenal there. But I think we're trying to play the value game at this point. <laughs> dude autocorrect is getting you tonight slip it is getting you tonight brother for sure um so if i pitched if i pitched the uh the zealous belting yes i did have enough 
Um, and it's possible I was just kind of like blindsided by like the concept of playing the Zell Spelting right there. Um, that I did not make the correct play at that point in time. That is a very possible play. Um, I mean, I think we're just supposed to take this here. Like, it sucks they're not really going to do anything. I mean, that's fine. So you're just, you're just literally just pushing raw damage here? All right, I mean, that's fine. Like, they don't have grains, so, like, it's not like it, like, we don't really care about that. Um, we're going to make a surge, throw the debilitate, and then we're going to arsenal the Golden Sun here. Now, this is cool because this also kind of represents Pummel. Um, now, they don't know that we're we're not running them against them, but, like, this is something that, like, Sometimes, like, people have to respect sometimes, so. Oh, it's your first event that that isn't an armory? Dude, well, dude, that's amazing. That's awesome, man. Um, I still remember my first big event. Honestly, I do. Um, but, dude, like, that's awesome, man. I hope you have a blast. Um, if you see me, please come say hi. I'd love to meet you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And, I mean, honestly, dude, like, as far as, like, tips are concerned, man, like, I... It, you know, at the end of the day, man, just remember it's a card game. We're there to have fun. Like, you know, like, and, and I say that as, like, probably one of the most competitive human beings I know personally. I am, like, one of the most competitive people, I, like, that I know. Like, and you can ask Carly. Like, I'm, like, too competitive sometimes. Um, but, but, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, dude, like, it's all about having fun and playing cards, man. Um, do you know what hero you're playing? Captain America as an item? Dude, what? Listen, Captain America is like, you know, like a tier superhero fam, like towards the top of the list of my favorites. All right. So we're going to use crown to like try and fix this hand. Um... So... Huh. I can block with the debilitate and then I can go zealous in the hammer, right? Have one floating with go again and then throw the hammer. We can't make a new surge, but is there any world where we can throw something better here? Can we take three to throw damage? So if we have one floating, I can pitch the choke slam and the thunderquake to throw this because I'll have one. This is a surge making this three. Yeah, so we can just take three here, actually. <laughs> I think that's, like... I think this is, like, actually, like, a really solid play here. Um, we just can't make a new surge for next turn, but, I mean, this is five going in into eight, which is pretty solid value for us here. Dude, I would love to be able to, like, throw my shield. That would be awesome. Hey, Ben, with the hydrate. What's up, Ben? How are you, buddy? the very first national of fabs oh you bubbled on day two dude that's a that's a real feels bad i um i have so ironically and i say like ironically but like i have made day two of both days of nationals that i've ever went to the first nationals i went to was 2022 and it was us nats and i um excuse me i um <clears throat> My first day, my 2022 Nats, I finished with like a 4-3 and three record, I think, um, going into going into day two, and I decided to drop and play into calling, um, which like I, I think was a better play, if I'm just being honest, um, especially for me personally. Like, playing in the calling was, was more fun. Um, like, I enjoyed the calling, but... Okay, so it's just going to be the other hatchet because of the tunic here. Uh, Choke Slam does not affect weapons. Um, it is just the uh, it is just uh, attack action specifically. You are correct. Ye. I mean, am I supposed to block six, take two, and then just arsenal the command to conquer? Or do I block six and throw the hammer? Is that a better play? Like it's probably better to like keep up some amount of pressure here. If I had to guess. Probably, I don't know. 
I don't know. It might have been better to arsenal the Command and Conquer. Without Pummels in the deck, like, I, I feel like arsenaling Command and Conquer, like, isn't really that great of a play. Just gives me some value draft here. I don't think you're a bad player at all, Josh. I don't think that's, like, a fair assessment of, like, your skills as a player at all. Um, but, yeah, I did not get to go to 2021 Nats. So, yeah, I, I ended up playing on the Calling at uh, 2022 Nats. That was, like, I really did not understand the game at that point in time. So, the fact that I made Day 2 was a miracle. Um, and then last year at Nats, I was actually... I went 2-2 in Swiss playing Lexi, and then I 3-0'd my draft pod. And I was actually in a really good spot. Um, I was I was 5-2 and two going into, going into uh, Day 2 of Nats. And, like, I just just kind of fell apart like i did not really like play that well um day two of nats just did not play well to be honest <laughs> this is five dominate i mean if i take five i can go rouse um revealing thunderquake and disable into the hammer so we have to like go down four points here but we still have um nine points worth of equipment block and they have one two three four and like you know seven more because, like, we're just, we're never going to run that thing out. Like, the only time that, like, we really start taking dynamos off the table is when we get them down low. And, like, we start playing the, like, and we start playing the, like, superior, like, like, we're attacking for a whole bunch here. Yeah, the, de the value per game is, like, probably, like, 15 to 17. It's, in it's insane. Like, if we, if we play a 25-turn game, I think that, like, the Dorinthia player gets value out of dynamos, like, 20 times a game. It's crazy, bro. Like, this card is insane. Like, this card's crazy. Um, I definitely don't think it needs to be banned, but it is a very good card. It's definitely a heck of a lot better than Civic Steps, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just play Mangle? <laughs> Dude, I, like, I know that, like, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't dislike Mangle. Like, I just don't know that, like, I would, I just don't know that I would, like, play it over anything else I have in my deck. And it's also, it's very hard to get value in Dynamos with Mangle. Like, you have to be, like... Like, you need to be playing, like, Red Buckling Blow and Buckle, in my opinion, if that's, like, what you're going for. Which, like, I think is a, a pretty reasonable thing. Like, I don't think that's crazy. Um, like, it's, it's very reasonable, in my opinion, to just play... Like, like if you want to play Buckle in your deck for this matchup, like, I don't think that's a bad play. Block three, take three, go to 13, and throw 10. Like, this is, like, the problem is that, like, Dory can kind of just, like, play the value game with us. Buckle stonks. I mean, I do like Buckle a whole lot. I think I own three copies of Buckle. Um, I think I own three copies of Buckle. <clears throat> they go to 14 okay so this is going to be four go again um so i can go five into hammer and arsenal the golden sun if i give up these two right here i think this is fine I mean, I don't really care about the copper, but like, I think using this is fine here. Um, we want to stop it so I so that they can't swing it again if they did like have a hit and run here. But I mean, I guess technically they could use tunic to throw that at me again. So let's block three. I think just blocking there is like the efficient play. Um, we're going to go five go again. And I want to keep the Golden Sun for, like, later in the game um, to, like, try and close out the game right there. <laughs> yeah, the fact that her leg piece can, like, actually, like, block more than, like, all of my equipment is, like, actually nuts, fam. It is kind of crazy. Playing Reinar. Chosen want to start the game and just stick with Reinar Root for now. Running something similar to Pablo's list. Well, dude, uh, dude, good luck, man. I hope you do well. Um... Are you playing in the actual Battle Harden, or are you, like, just playing side events to, like, hang out and have a good time? Um, but either way, man, I, I actually really like Reinar. Um, I'm actually debating playing Reinar myself for Atlanta. 
So I hope you do well, man. I hope you crush it. Pablo is a heck of a just Pablo's a heck of a player, bro. Like he's a heck of a player. Oh yeah, one hundred percent Ram. Like like buckle is like one thousand percent required um, against Declan Lawson if you're gonna win the game. Like I, I I don't even know if you can do it with buckle. Like you'd have to have like three copies of buckle and buckling blow, like red buckling blow. I mean, and if like and if this is gonna be the deck that's everywhere, maybe there's some consideration to not play debilitate and just to play red buckling blow because red buckling blow has a lot of value. And maybe we cut. Maybe we cut Terra Sunders for buckling blows. I don't know. Like, yeah, Tekla's gonna be really good, dude. After, um, after, uh, after Dromai's gone officially for sure. Just play Powder Keg easy. <laughs> uh. Um, I don't know when that deck comes out, Slip. I'm not really good at keeping up with, uh, with the... I'm not great at keeping up with, like, you know, the the timeline of when cards come out and when they don't and things like that. That's not really, like, my forte, to be honest with you, buddy. I'm just gonna say no blocks here, I think. We're gonna block on the second one. I was like, they're gonna play the Blade Runner. Which means this will be for four, which means my test of strength gets all the value here that I want. <laughs> okay. So we get to go rouse into hammer. Okay, they just want to throw another hatchet at me for three. Um Do I block two, take one, throw the chip? Well, I guess I can't do that, can I? Not an arsenal this, so I guess I'm just supposed to go to eight and play the value of my of my hand here. I mean, I could have blocked to like stop the agility token. I thought that was just the oh, it's the next time an opposing hero has dealt damage. I thought that one specifically had to hit. Um, I was not aware of that, so. <laughs> We're going to come in for seven go again, and then I'm actually going to go ahead and draw a card off of the gold um, in hopes that we find a blue so that I can throw the choke slam. Now, the choke slam isn't like the crush effect isn't super relevant here, but I am trying to get the value here. Having a 15 point turn versus an 11 point turn is a pretty big difference when we're really just trying to outvalue each other. And so even if I have one floating and I draw a red, I can just throw the hammer like I'd planned on. I'm just giving up an arsenal this way. I do think with four gold, it's okay to make this play. Um, and then we get to go ahead and throw this. Like, we drew the blue exactly like we wanted. Exactly what you want to see. Um, why should we have drawn first? Playing the Rouse the Ancients is a, like, it is a very hard card to play. Like, and so, like, I can guarantee myself to be able to play that. And if I draw a Trounce then I'm in a spot where I can no longer play Rouse the Ancients, and I can only play that. So if I if I play Rouse the Ancients first, I give myself the guaranteed ability to be able to play that there. Why would you have drawn first there, Christian? No, 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 I mean, that's fair. Like, and there's a lot of times, like, specifically, like, in card games in general that, like, if you are playing, um, like, there's a lot of times in card games in general that, like, I think that playing, like, um, that, like, drawing cards first is just better because, like, you want to be drawing cards. Um, so we could give Choke Slam here. How many Blade Flurries have we seen? Let's, uh, God, Zach's probably, uh, Zach's probably sitting at home when he watches this at some point, just gonna laugh. Me, like when me, when him and I played in person the other night, we had a whole thing about Blade Flurry for like twelve turns. We've seen two Blade Flurries. There's one left. If it is a Blade Flurry, he only gets to attack one more time, though. Um, so if I block with Gauntlets and then take the Hatchet, I can make a Surge Throw Choke Slam and then Arsenal to crush the weak. 
I could also just block with Terra Sunder and Choke Slam here and then just play the Crush the Weak. That is probably just a better play overall. <laughs> I bet Zen could Choke Slam someone. I think I just want to stop the value of him being able to attack again. I think this is a better play, although my opponent did use a very good turn to take the advantage. Oh, no. That is... Oh, my God. I'm asking if we can undo here. Uh, Agro started talking in third person. Slip is scared. <laughs> um, so I think I blocked with the Terra Sunder first. So blocking with the Terra Sunder there. And then when he plays the hit and run, I hate when I do that. When I click on the cards wrong. Um, I wanted to block six like this, keep the Terrace under so that I can throw the hammer back. Um, I do think that's a better play than Arsenal the Crush the Week. Um, I, I, I think when my opponent's at six, like I want to be continuing to force cards out of their hand here. Didn't even realize I talked in the third person. God, I wonder how many times I do that when I'm streaming sometimes. My foot warmer turned off. What a sham. It's like trying to keep me from burning my house down or something, and I just want my feet to be warm. A sham, I tell you. A sham. What are we doing here? Our opponent's thinking here. Throwing it back. <laughs> Why be warm when you can be hoarse? <laughs> Oh man, y'all will say some of the funniest stuff ever, I swear. Uh I mean I don't really like this play pattern because I don't think this benefits us if I'm being honest, but I think we need to find a better turn to get out of this play pattern. Oh, lol, did I did that joke completely went over my head, fam? Completely went over my head. Um, yeah, so one of the guys on the on the team, his name is Zach also. Um, like it's very confusing between the two of us, and it's also funny because I know your name is Zach, so I like try to call you slip. Um and then there's a guy who plays cards with us, um, like kinda locally. He lives about thirty or forty five minutes from us. Um, and his name is Zechariah. Um, and it sounds just like Zach, but it's actually um, Zach, which is, like, really interesting. So, like, it, it's very confusing for us. It's very confusing sometimes. <laughs> Zach Nation, baby. I love that. I love that, dude. Um, I think we're just going to block here. I want to force him, it, like, I feel like he's wanting to use a Blade Flurry this turn. Could be wrong. I'm just kind of, like, soul reading here a little bit. Come on, we need a Trounce here. All right, that's pretty good. That allows us to go Zealous into Debilitate here. One, three, four. I'm not dead. Okay, thank God. I thought I was dead here. I was like, Jesus, fam. Um, I mean, I guess I could be, technically. Glint is insane. So we go to four here. All right. And then come in for what, three? No, I'm sorry, four. So now I need to... I 
I think we need to stay at four. I think four is kind of like the magic number. Zach Bell? I don't even know that. Is that the guy from, like, uh, Say by the Bell? Is that who that is? <laughs> Let's draw a card and see what we find. I'm kind of tempted to draw another card here, if I'm being honest. Because I'd really rather do this for more than just, like... Of course, the problem is if I find a four for eight, I'll have I won't have the chance to do it anymore. Yeah, I will. Let's do it one more time. See what we find. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. We could throw this for ten and Arsenal the Zell's belting. Of course, I don't really know how many. So if we if we throw this for ten, he's at six. He gives me one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. He technically has to give me two cards here unless he has a sink below or a fate for scene, which we've seen all three sink belows, and there is one fate for scene left in the deck. So pretty good chance he has it. So fate for scene, this and a card to block eight and take two. Man, that's a tough situation. Oh, man. So, if we really wanted to <laughs> ban Aggro Blaze, bro. No, it's a manga anime. It's an anime character. Oh, dude, sorry. I'm going to be honest. So, like, we've, we, I've talked about this a couple times. I'm like, I'm not, like, a big anime person. I don't know a lot about, like, anime or, like, I don't really watch a lot of anime. Um, okay, take it on the chin. Like, I uh, I like Dragon Ball Z quite a bit, but, like, that's really about as far as, like, anime is concerned. That's really all I've watched, if I'm being honest. Um, so if we draw a card into a blue, we could throw the Spinal Crush here. It's pretty aggressive, but, like, I think we need to throw Spinal Crush here. Like, I think this is a, like, I just, we got pretty lucky here, like, drawing blues all the time. Now, we only have one gold left, which is unfortunate, because we've seen quite a few tests of strengths and trounces. How many trounces have we seen? So, let's see, we see one trounce at the beginning of the game. There's one test of strength. There's another test of strength. There's another test of strength. And there's a trounce. So there's one trounce left in the deck, and it's the one we put on the bottom earlier. Getting that blade flurry right here feels really good. So imagine being in an anime and not liking an anime. What are you talking about? It's three now for not knowing Zach Bell. <laughs> oh. So the agility token, like, we have to block here. Actually. There's a chance we might just be able to end the game here. There's a chance we might be able to end the game here. Eight, three, four, five. Okay, that's phenomenal for us. You love to see that. We stopped their turn completely. Um, so now we can throw Macho Grande for 9 Dominate. And unless they have a take it on the chin, they're dead. They block 3 from hand, 4, 5. And then they take 4. Even if they... They already used the Fate for Scene, but even if they did have like a random thing here, like a, another Sink Below, they would still be dead without something else here nice let's go what a game what a grind 16 turns and we finally crossed the finish line there let's go is there a world where carly plays fab um so 
Carly played Magic a little bit. Um, like, I got Carly to play Magic with me a little bit. She really liked, for anybody who played Magic, um, she really liked Boggles. Um, like, like she loved to play Boggles. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just because it beat the living shit out of Burn, and that's all I like to play. Um, so she liked to, she liked to play that. Um, dude, everybody voted yes on this one. Wow. I did not know everybody voted yes on me to win that one, but we did win. So you guys, like, win your points back. Yes. Um... um but yeah so carly liked magic but like i like, tried to get her to play fab and like carly carly's told me that she doesn't like the idea that like every single turn is like a new little mini game like the thing that she liked about magic i think is that like you get an idea of what you wanted to do over the next like few turns and kind of play the game that way and so i don't think she really likes fab um i've asked her a couple times if she wanted to play but like i've never really pushed it you know like carly and i like you know like we have a lot of things we do together and we have some things we don't do together and that's great like i think that makes I think it makes the time we spend together that much more fun, honestly. I had one more shot left in the deck. Dude, that was a great game for it. I really enjoyed it, man. Like, that was a really grindy game. You played that very well, and, like, I did not think I was going to win that for a long time. So, I tip my hat to you, brother. Very well done. Very well done, man. I did not think that was going to go my way at all. But uh, congrats, man. That was, like, that was, that was a good game, and I did not think I was going to cross the line there. Um, okay, so... Yeah, not not sharing all of our interests is like actually pretty pretty is I I I I like that. I heard he hates me and doesn't want to spend time with me. Of course that's what Curly heard. She's in there laughing. I can hear her laughing sitting in there trolling me right now. God, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right so we got three big hydrates coming i'm gonna run in and use the bathroom real quick because god knows i'm gonna need to um and then we got three big hydrates coming and when we come back more victor thanks for hanging out tonight guys
Okay, short break and we're back. Let's see. All right, we got another game. We got three big hydrates coming. I'm just warning everybody right now. If you use big hydrate the rest of the night, it's not. It's not happening. Uh, we've already done like this is gonna be like hydrates like five, six, and seven right here. So like like if you if you big hydrate the rest of the night, you're spending your points on something that ain't happening. I'm telling you right now. Oh, all right. Big hydrate number one of three. Ugh. All right. We're playing against Dory. We're loading the same thing we just did, and we're going to try and win one more time. But we care about your kidney health. <laughs> what a what a great response. Oh, what a great answer, Liam. I love that. That's fantastic, bro. Oh, Dawnblade Dory. A spicy meatball. I'm gonna make a surge and then I'm just gonna heave the Thunderquake and pass. And we're just gonna try to hang on to the Rousey Ancients here. Oh boy. Man, if this was a blue, also, we could crown this away, try to find a blue, and then go rouse into Pulverize. Is there any world we can still do that? I'm sorry if he wets the bed tonight, but this is hilarious. <laughs> Can you check out my deck and tell me what you think? Yeah, sure, man. Um, yeah, absolutely. If you want to send it to me on Discord, I'll be more than happy to like pull it up and like we can look at it before the stream's over. Absolutely. All right, our opponent's thinking. Let's do another big hydrate. Uh, um, it appears that our opponent is not there anymore. Yeah, now we got one more to go. Now we got one more to go. Okay. That was, uh... So they said yes, sorry, and they said they're thinking. So I was like, yep, no problem. I just wanted to make sure. No, Josh, I told you you were wasting your points. You knowingly spent your points knowing I wasn't doing it. Get out of here. So I do think we can crown away the Thunderquake here. And, like, if we hit a blue, we can try to throw... So if we hit a blue, we can block with Command and Conquer, throw the Pulverize. Is this like no go again or something? I mean, there's also a world where like we can just like throw the rouse and then the command and conquer and arsenal to pulverize here. Flood him with small hydrates? Dude, slips out here thinking outside the box. Um, I mean... I love that you guys are actually just throwing small hydrates at me. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, if they throw if they throw Dawn Blade again, I'm pretty incentivized to just give Command and Conquer and some equipment here and then just throw the pulverize at them and arsenal the rouse and try to set up a bigger hand. Oh wow, Carly out here throwing me under the bus. Talking about how I pee myself, apparently. I can hear her laughing. No, I actually did not get to hear what happened to Majin Bay. What happened to Majin Bay? <laughs> Josh said I got 10k, so it's no sweat here. <laughs> oh, man. 
So is there any world where we can do Rouse and this here? Like, is it, is it all possible? So this is going to cost six. So I could go Rouse. I mean, we're really just going to make a new surge here, right? And then just throw Pulverize and Arsenal to Rouse. Yeah, I think, I think that's the best play that we can make here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let's do a, uh, let's do a, let's do another one here real quick before. Let's do another prediction before I forget. I, I'm the world's worst about actually starting the predictions. Um, so I try to I try to remember to start those, but I always forget. You should check out his recap vid, to be honest. Okay, I'll make sure. I'll make sure to watch it. Um, I'll probably try to watch it tomorrow. I got to take a test for a certification tomorrow at work, but um, I'll probably try to watch it on the way there or something. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> what are you not doing, Alexander? He actually had to get an IG, an I, an IG, Jesus, an IV, bro. I so I saw the thing that said like almost died at a calling or at LA or something like that, and I was like, this feels like clickbait. This just feels like clickbait. Because no one is watching, and you can write down your pitch. <laughs> what? I don't think that's a reason for me to play Kano. Arsenal this, and then we can block with Terrace under here, and then we can pitch Buckling Blow to reveal these. Uh, throw Rouse, go again into Choke Slam. We could also, like, I could also just block with a Buckling Blow and keep the Terrace under in the deck. I think that's a better play. I actually might look at trying to run, like, Buckle and Buckling Blows in the list over Debilitates. It might be an interesting thing. So the, he was like in serious like medical condition. That's crazy, bro. That's like I hate to hear that, man. Like I, honestly, like I I hate to hear that about anybody in the community. Like you know, like want everybody to be healthy. You know, like that's crazy. Like I'm glad he's okay. And you don't need the skill to remember twelve cards. I don't know how that works into chaos. Like I don't know how that does. I don't know if my opponent's, like, thinking again or, like, what's going on here. I don't know. I'm just going to assume that, like, they're just thinking here. About the card Centauri Saber. It says it gives plus one to invite attack action. So if it has, if it has three attacks, but how can I use it again to attack if it's... Okay, so... So, Deep, just to clarify here. Um, one, welcome to Flesh and Blood. Um, first off and foremost there. Um, yeah, we're just going to say no blocks here because this is for minus one. Um, but just, just to clarify here, um, so Centauri Saber is a one-handed weapon, so if you were playing something like this hero right here, Dorinthia, um, she, you have two of them, uh, it th in theory, and so when you attack with a Centauri Saber, you can play cards like Blade Runner or Run Through to give it go again, um, and then Dorinthia's effect says when a weapon you control hits, you may attack an additional time with that weapon this turn. So Dorinthia's effect is an overriding action that lets you throw Centauri Saber a second time specifically. Now, if you're playing a hero like Kasai, you have to have a card like Blood on her hands or a different card to like actually get the value that you're looking for um, to be able to... Okay. Um, to be able to um, actually like throw it again. Um, but otherwise, if it's a once per turn action, it is a once per turn action and that's it. Good question. Good question. For warrior matchups, do buckles and buckling blows. So the problem is I don't know what I would cut for him. Honestly, like I like I don't I don't dislike that idea at all. Like I don't dislike that idea at all. I just don't know what I would cut in the sideboard for him because if I'm cutting if I'm siding them in or out, that's implying that I am in some way um I have room for them in my sideboard and I currently do not. And I don't really know like what like, once Dromai is gone, like, I don't think you can really change the list that much because you have to have poppers in the lag prism. So, I don't know. <laughs> no turns, and you take, like, farther than the last turns to do your own picture there, usually, because they don't come from one switch, and I'll see the next. See next message? <laughs> I love that you put C text message.
I mean, yo, let's go. Deep, thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate you being here tonight. We got three questions we ask everybody. What's your name? What got you into flesh and blood? And what are your favorite hot dog toppings? Those are our three questions we ask everybody when they're new to the channel, man. Looking to play Kasai first? Well, dude, I hope you enjoy it, man. Uh, Kasai's a lot of fun. I think that Kasai is a cool hero that offers a lot of play right now. Um, Dorinthia has picked up a lot of popularity um, playing Hatchet of Body and Hatchet of Mind. Um, that's something that's like picked up in popularity right now in the metagame. So you're just like, you're basically just using like the... So you're, so you're actually just using like D-Reacts to like to just block and stay alive against KO. And then once you get to your pitch and you know it, you're just like going off and killing people. I mean, if it works, that's kind of cool. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying like, if it works, that's pretty cool. Like the fact that like, that's even like a feasible possibility is pretty sweet. Just cut AB and all D reacts. Tameshi's a man after my own heart over here. <laughs> let's freaking go. You hey, let's, let's go. More. Let's go with the follow on Twitch. Dude, thank you so much. I know that, uh, oh dude, let's go. And more with the Prime sub. Dude, thank you so much. I know, uh, I know you hang out on, uh, on YouTube quite regularly. So thank you so much for hopping back and forth with the double support. I appreciate you, uh, being on both sides of the channel. And uh, I pre really appreciate that Prime sub. A lot of great people you could share that with every month. So I really appreciate that being me. It means a lot. Um, wow, they blocked with a ton of equipment. We're still up eight points right now. <laughs> I mean, like, do I even care about blocking here? Honestly? I assume I assume that Tameshi is trolling when he's acting when he's saying what the D stands for in D react. I assume he's trolling. Um, and if it hits, it gets go again. I'm kind of incentivized to just block the next one, right? Like we can just go to 28 and block the next one. Yo, let's go. Chips, two months of that prime support. Dude, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. My man said I was six days late, but you were here, brother. But you were here. Let's go. Dude, let's go. And Alexander becoming a member on YouTube. Dude, let's go. Big support. Dude, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate that, man. That means a whole bunch. Dude, you guys are the best. You guys are super nice. Like, I really appreciate you guys, like, going out of your way to support me and, like, hanging out, like, like, I don't know, like, it, it's, I don't know, it's just a very heartwarming feeling. Like, I just, it's, it's a very heartwarming feeling, and I really appreciate it. Like, it means a lot that you guys are willing to do that and hang out. Like, I, I really appreciate it. God, truly not these nuts. God, I hope not. I really hope not, dude. I really hope not. <laughs> See, the first box you ever opened had a rainbow foil doomsday in it, and you've been Leviah ever since. I think it's worth giving up one point on the Orami, just like over blocking by a point here um, to be able to throw the Thunderquake. There might be some argument for me to give Aegis and Tech Plating and then just Arsenal to Command and Conquer, but we actively don't have the Pummels in our list, so I think that just blocking with Command and Conquer is fine. Um, we're still up two points and we're up on equipment and we're throwing 10 at them, so <laughs> about time I did. Well, dude, it's. It's never it's never required of anybody, dude, but I do really appreciate it, man. That means a lot. Like you guys, like everybody going out of their way to like support, you know, like my passion and my dream of like streaming and like, you know, and try providing content for everybody. Like, you know, I it it means a lot. So Ethan, Ethan said he opened a doomsday and he's never looked back, pretty much is what it sounds like. Relish mustard and ketchup on a lucky dog in the New Orleans airport. That is extremely specific, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> but I can get behind it, man. That's probably the most specific answer I've uh, I've ever heard, but I like it, though. I like it. Nah, both of nothing, Alexander. Get out of here with that joke. I already got once. I already got, I already got had once earlier today. I never go out of my way. <laughs> I prayed now I want to play. 
The first box I opened had a Spellbound Creepers, which I traded, and now I want to play Runeblade. So, Chips, it's kind of funny that you say that. Um, I think our opponents here, that they've went, this is the third time they've been inactive. I'm not claiming victory because they keep playing the game. Like, they might be learning, I don't know. Like, I'm definitely not counting this game as, like, testing for Atlanta or anything like that, but... Um, so I actually owned a Spellbound Creepers back in the day, Chips, when uh, when Chain was in the format. Um, that was like when I first started playing Flesh and Blood, and I wanted I wanted to play Chain because everybody was like, "Oh my God, like Chain's broken, Chain's this, Chain's that," and like and everybody you know compared it to Dredge for Magic, and so I was like, and I I had been playing Dredge for years in Magic. Um, it was like one of the other decks I had besides uh, besides Burn, and so I told everybody I was like, "All right, cool, well like I'm in, like let's do it, like I'm I'm in, like let's play." Let's play Chain. And then, like, after it left, I immediately sold it. Like, immediately. Um, I immediately sold it, and I really wish I hadn't. Um, if I'm just being entirely honest, I really wish I had not sold it. Okay, so... We need to block nine with the gauntlets. Unless that's the Iron Song response, or the wh whatever, the Singing Steel Blade. I can't remember what it's called. I, I don't think I can ever play around that card. Like, this can't be Route, which is kind of nice. Um, so what if I give... Three, six, seven, nine, like this? Uh... Is it not better to get the Iron Song response there? And, oh, no, 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 I guess it wouldn't go over. No, it would. It'd go over by one because they don't get the plus one. So I take one and then they draw a card. And if they draw into a blue, like, I guess they, they I guess they, no, they, they, they get to see one card either way. They don't draw a card because there's no buff. And they haven't hit, so they can't attack again. Yeah, no, they absolutely played that incorrectly. Yeah, no, no, no. They they 100% should have went and got Iron Song response, pushed it over. I go to 27, they draw a card. If it's a blue, they activate Bracers and swing in again. 100%, my opponent just made a mistake right there. Yeah. I really thought, like, the Gauntlets is really good in this matchup, like, with Dawnblade, and they just conceded. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate timing for me. Um, we just spent, like, you know, 15 minutes, like, playing a game that my opponent didn't even see out. So, but... Did I forget to start a prediction on Twitch again? I'm like the world's worst about that. Um, no, 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 I did. We started a prediction and we won. Let's go. You'll love to see it. We're, uh, we're uh, staying strapped so we don't get clapped. Let's go. I hated Chain. The whole reason I refused to play Runeblade. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people dislike Chain to be fair, but Chain was very high skill ceiling in my opinion. Like two weeks where I watched Hermes on YouTube and then he went to LL, but he did win the LL event. Oh, did he win the LL event this past weekend? That's really cool. Chain's broken, dude. Like, Chain is really, like, actually insane. Chips, like, he's actually crazy good. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That's true. Like, at least we did get to finish the game. Like, that's, it would have been, it could, it could have always been worse right there. Um, that is for sure. All right, let's get let's get another game going. We've only played four games tonight, and I want to I want to play some more. Oh, we're playing the mirror. Um, we're gonna go first against the mirror. I don't know if it's correct to go first or second into the mirror. If I'm being honest, um, the Bravo plan is exactly the same as the Victor plan. Um, we take out the trounces. I don't like the trounces in this matchup at all. Um, and we bring in literally every other card. I leave in the Golden Sun because over like overpowers like can win games randomly. Um, and like also like winning clashes with this is like bananas. So. Just it's just good value for us. I don't know if going first is correct. If somebody's played more games of Victor than me, I would be open to hearing other opinions because there is a lot to be said for going second and getting a lot of value. Um, but I, I do really like swinging the hammer um, and being able to like take no cards out of my deck and have my opponent take cards out of their deck. They also only loaded sixty cards into us, and that's intriguing to me. All right, well, let's see what kind of game it's going to be. Them blocking with Tesla Swing is going to tell us a lot right here. Yeah, Slip, they like they left after like a little bit through the game. I think they realized they made a mistake. 
Um, and, oh, no, we lost. I mean, I, that that was Clash of Vigor beforehand, so I would have lost regardless, but they, they, I think they realized they made a mistake and just kind of left there. Um, not really sure what happened there, but... If we can keep our left total, we might be able to run them out of cards here, which I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of that game plan. All right, last big hydrate for the night. Oh my god. All right. So um <laughs> now it's my turn. I love that so much. We have a couple of options here. This is like guaranteed going in front here. Um we can give up the spinal crush if we want to. Um because if we don't win, our turn just turns into hammer pretty quickly. Yo! Rat Momen, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Appreciate you being here. Three questions we ask everybody. What's your name? What got you into fab? And what are your favorite hot dog toppings? I think it's more safe to give this um, because we can still throw the choke slam regardless. Um, but if we do win the clash... Did I reveal a golden sun? I did. And they choose to reclash. They have a wallop? Um... Oh, I revealed the Golden Sun again? <laughs> oh, that's a feels bad, buddy. Sorry. That's a feels bad right there, big fella. Because you got rid of your only gold and you gave me two anyway. That's a... Yeah, that's a feels bad there, big guy. Hate to hate to see that for you. Um, anyway, here's Wonderwall. Dude, that was wild. That was nuts, actually. Now it's my turn. I love that so much. I... Patrick is, like, my favorite Spongebob character, honestly. Which is funny, because, like, I sound like Spongebob. Like, my voice gets very high when I get excited sometimes. Curly often makes fun of me for it. You guys will hear that quite regularly. Mmm. I kind of want to put the sink on the bottom to, like, be able to play overpowered Golden Sun with Pummel second cycle. Um, I could play the sink... If I put this on the bottom and I find a better card, I could throw the Thunderquake and Arsenal the Rouse, or if I don't, I can throw throw the Thunderquake and Arsenal whatever I draw into. I don't know. Like we have a couple of options here. <laughs> Thanks for separating those opponent. <laughs> yeah, I mean Josh, everybody makes fun of me, man. Like it's honestly like I love that everybody does. Like it's a lot of fun. Um, like I, I get a kick out of it. Honestly, I truly do. Like when people are like hanging out and like laughing and having a good time, even if it's at my expense, like I'm still enjoying it. Um, hmm, that's a big sag. So I know it's kind of greedy, but I kind of just want to like do this here. So I'm going to go like, do I even want to pummel the choke slam? Does it matter? I don't think this is the correct play here. Um, eh, eh, I don't know. We should probably just take the value, right? Like we should probably just like take the value of being able to do that. Plus we're setting up a second cycle. Um, we're setting up a second cycle. Rouse the ancients with a six and a seven below that. Or I'm sorry, I guess technically it's it's seven sink below than the six, so the rouse could be a little awkward, but as long as we pitch well the rest of the time, we'll be able to play our rouse no problem, second cycle. <laughs> and try to drown me? Oh, Chips asked me a question. Sorry, let's see, I missed that here. If you had to have one animal's arms and one animal's legs that are not human, which arms would you pick and which arms would you choose? Bro, okay, so that's a question right there. That's like a question and a half, I feel like. Oh, Big Sedge. Well played, opponent. Well played. They saw the pummel coming from a mile away, and they played around it. I tip my hat to him. That's a good play. Um, well, that hand sucks. So 
So if I take four, I can go E strike putting this on the bottom into Make a Surge Command and Conquer. I think that's worth here. I think that's worth here. Gorilla arms and chimp legs for opposable toes. Interesting. I that's a like this is like I don't know. This is like not an easy. This is like not like a very easy question to answer. So I I don't know. Like I I do feel like that may like the option of the option of like taking like gorilla arms is really cool because one like you're gonna be strong AF and like you do have thumbs so like that's pretty cool. I mean yeah like keeping your thumbs makes a lot of sense but like as far as legs, I don't know. That's also a tough one. I it's I, it's kind of sad but part of me wants to say like flamingo. <laughs> Um, mostly for the memes, but like, I don't know. I feel like having flamingo legs would be cool, but so is this worth, is it worth taking four to try and tear us under this for 11? Dude, Josh, I'm just saying flamingo legs are cool. <laughs> he said, oh, I love it. <laughs> what about you chips? What would you pick? I'm curious to know. You've, uh, you've got me here and Lude, let's go. We got, uh, we got rat with the hydrate. I think we're taking four here. Like, I know it's, like, aggressive here. Like, I am, like, playing the Guardian Mirror wrong in every fashion. Um, I am, like, 100% just playing the Guardian Mirror wrong in every way. I'm taking a lot of damage and trying to swing the game in my favor. But, like, the fact that, like, my opponent's on unmovables, like, is, like, kind of cool. It's, it's interesting because I heard somebody talking about this the other night. The idea of, like, playing a couple unmovables. And, like... I really don't like it. Like the idea of playing unmovable feels like is like a real feels bad to me if I'm just being honest. But I don't know. Like, like if I if I was gonna play unmovable, I would just play staunch in my opinion. Um, but the unmovable really lined up for our opponent there a minute ago. I mean, again, like, I think we're just going to 23 to go E strike go again into crush the week for seven. Like, I, it's just, it's a, like, we're keeping a surge and, like, it's another good turn here. Um, so pit, I'm sorry. Let's activate this like this. We're going to go cranial crush on the bottom for go again. And then we're going to throw crush the week because we had a surge previously. Um, and I, I put the cranial crush on the bottom first because I would rather see that first. As opposed to um, the, as opposed to the choke slam, I'd rather see the cranial crush first there. Elephant legs with gecko arms. I would have went with wings for arms and cheetah legs. Oh, dude, wings was really smart. That was like a dodoy moment for me. I feel like yeah, like wings would have been good. Do you take their anxiety too? Slip said I've got enough anxiety. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> Oh, bro, that's amazing. Um, without them having sledge, like I'm pretty okay to just go ahead and like give them this. We're up on cards. I'm just going to uh, block um, block efficiently, and we'll just throw the hammer here. We could, like, get greedy and, like, try to draw a card, but if we, like, draw into a red, we're in, like, a really rough spot. Um, I don't think it's correct to draw a card there. I make another surge. Bro, like, my opponent is just getting wrecked by, like, test of strengths right now. Um, ew. Um, well, we're gonna hope that we get a little lucky with a test of strength here. We do. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. We do have to take six there. Red Macho Grande is actually insane in the mirror. Um, let's just throw Cranial Crush here. Like, it's eight versus six on the hammer, and then we can arsenal the Command and Conquer. You have to suspend disbelief for a bit here. We're talking about having multi-membered bodies. I mean, you're true. Like, that's true. You do have to, like, live a little bit here on the edge. 
Wait, what's old news slip? What did I miss? I do like the concept of like, we're just kind of like throwing caution to the wind. It's like, we're already living in like a weird reality here with this scenario. So it's like, just do whatever anyway. God, another zealous belting. So that means the Command and Conquer Pumble play is not going to be that good. Man, like, I needed this to be a turn where, like, they just wanted to throw Hammer and Arsenal here. I mean, I guess technically they could not want to throw Hammer. It's like, they probably will, but... I think we're just supposed to block with the Pummel here. I think I'm just supposed to block five and take one and throw... Throw the hammer. Like, I, it's a very bad turn cycle for us. Like, they're, like, definitely setting up in a more positive way here to, like, try and finish the game out here. <laughs> so I'm going to bet Victor wins this matchup. Hey, welcome back, Michael. Appreciate you coming and hanging out tonight. That would explain why they pace a lot. Oh, the anxiety. I mean, that did make sense. Zeus give cheetahs support dogs? Are you trolling me right now, Slip? Or is that like, is that like real? <laughs> so with the Command and Conquer, I think I'm going to draw off the gold here. We've gotten very lucky with some of the gold. God, that is... That is terrible. That's a real feels bad right there, man. There's clips of it on TikTok. Dude. I would love it if like that's like that's how you solve like that is your one stop shop fix for depression. Give everybody a dog. Now, like I understand that like some people are allergic to dogs and things like that, but I'm just saying like you give everybody a dog and boom. And I guess they had a surge from last turn. Um, I'm debating giving up tech plating here. This feels so bad. Yeah, this feels really rough. Like, I feel like we're in a pretty tough spot right now. Um, I don't really know how we come back from this spot. <laughs> what is luck? Posted a TikTok on your Discord? Cool, I'll have to check it out after this. Can you see my list for Victor and give me input for improvement? Uh, yeah, sure, Michael, absolutely, dude. If you want to, uh, I don't know if you're a member of the Discord, or if you want to send me a message on... Jesus. Um, if you want to send me a message on Discord and like we can talk about it, um, like you can, I'll, I'm going to look at. I mean, what are the odds he doesn't hit a six, right? Like there's probably a pretty good chance that he hits a six here, right? I'm probably just supposed to throw Command and Conquer and just say, okay. And just give him the gold. Like I really don't want to, but I think it's correct. Um, yeah, if you're not a member of the Discord, man, join the Discord, and I'm happy to uh, talk about your deck here. We're going to look at Tameshi's deck after this game. Um, I forgot to do it last time, so we're going to do it this game this time around. Um, we're going to talk about his list. So we give Debilitate and Chokeslam here to block six. I'm going to pitch the Golden Sun to play the Zell. Actually... We're going to pitch like this to make my opponent think here a little bit. Probably give me a card and Civic Steps. Whoa, whoa. I am very surprised at my opponent. I think they wanted to undo so they can give me the Civic Steps. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why they wouldn't give me Civic Steps there. It's like definitely the logical play to make there. <laughs> oh, that's why you said it's old news. 
my real victor list josh if you're like secretly playing victor this whole time bro like what a what a wild world that would be all right they must have a pretty good hand if they're just taking damage here i was literally about to say also where are our freaking sink below's We're up on cards, so I'm just going to block nine. Play your pummel. I know you want to. <laughs> it's not right. It's not right for my opponent to play their pummel there. For what it's worth, um, if anybody's curious, like you're not supposed to play your pummel if your opponent only has one card in hand, unless you think it's going to end the game. Um, all right, we need to be able to, like, like honestly, the ideal play would be to be able to block six here. So if I block six, I can throw four in Arsenal to sink below. That is a much better play for us here. Honestly, with the way the game's going, it might be correct for me to just block nine there and keep my life total up. That's the last sink below in the deck because we gave the other one pretty early. No, no, no. There's one more that we put on the bottom earlier. Um, we crowned it away. That's right. So we have one, two, three, four equipment block and they have five and we're down four points, which is not uh, not going well for us. If I lose one to Vincent, if you see the result, because I'm sleepy and forgot to put AV in. Oh, dude, no worries, man. I've been there. I have been, like, halfway, like, awake and, like, you know, not, uh, <laughs> and not put AB in against decks like that. It happens, fam. It happens. We've all been there, brother. <laughs> Currently up eight cards, and we loaded eight more cards into our deck than they did, so, I mean... We're about on pace with keeping keeping cards. Hey, Lumina, what's up, dude? You have a better shot at Carly playing Fab before I touch that hero. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. I mean, if we're in this, like, turn cycle of, like, they're, they're eking out damage over us. I think I'm just going to give these and take two. Like, I'm really not a fan, but I think that's where we're at right now. Oh, dude, how, uh, how'd the job interview go, dude? I know that that can be, I know that that's a, like, job interviews are very stressful. And that can put you in like a very stressed out position. I know that feeling all too well. <laughs> Games like this are where I'm severely benefited. Like, so like when I'm playing in tournaments, um, like when I'm like, like playing like at like RTNs or ProQuest or something like that, like games like this, you know, like I'm not talking to the chat. Like I'm not like, you know, like distracted by other things. I'm keeping up with my pitch deck and my opponent's pitch deck. So I know where things are. But, like, I just, I'm not really. Like, we could have been benefited right there by drawing a card. And I, I don't think we're too pitch stack yet. But if we knew there was a blue on top, we could have tried to use the blue to, like, throw the debilitate there, which would have been really good. Completely flubbed some basic questions. There were some awkward silences. Well, dude, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I know that that's... Do we just win a Vicar? Um, what are the odds that Vigor matters for them? Not high, right? Like, I don't care about that. Um, well, dude, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I, uh, I know that's, like... I know, dude, job interviews are stressful, man. Like, job interviews are stressful. I understand. They are very stressful. I actually think the Clash of Vigor, like, if they're just going to throw Hammer, may screw them here. Hey, what's up, Adya? How are you, buddy? So, technically, I can get bailed out by my sink below here. 
Or I could just go to one if I really wanted to be crazy. Like, they could have the pummel here. But, like, this also just looks like they made a surge with their vigor token and swung the hammer. Um, and I'm more than happy to just, like, like take one point of damage to throw my Spinal Crush at them. Because, like, that's a big W for us, I think. Like, this is, like, a card that, like, lets us take two cards out of their hand and then, like, leak some damage. And if we get into this, like, weird stalemating part of the game where we are both just kind of, like, going back and forth and, like, nobody's really getting ahead, I am up on cards and that favors me. But we have to get to that point in the game first. Um, yeah, we're just going to block six here. I think that's okay. And I'm going to throw the Golden Sun here. I don't... Have they blocked with all their Golden Suns? They did. I think it's correct to just go ahead and throw the Golden Sun. Like, 10 is more than 6. Um, and we're up a, enough cards to where it's okay. Yes, give me equipment. I want you to give me your equipment. Good, 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 good. And the victor is Katsu. Mind playing a game against me after this? Um, uh, yeah, I'm down to play one after this. Like, let's see, it's 9.55. Um, yeah, against Katsu, yeah, yeah, we can make that happen. Um, I'm gonna look at a couple of decks first on stream, um, that people have asked me about, and then, uh, and then we can, then we can take a look at them for sure. So... Are we putting the Rouse on the bottom? I think so. Yeah. That's how I pitch stacked, unfortunately. And if this is Surge into Hammer... We can't just take 6 here. So is there any chance that I give Sink Below, take 2, and then play my Go Again hand? Or is it better... To give Thonk and Zealous, take one, throw Anothos and Arsenal to sink below. That's a real tough decision. If if this card blocked three and wasn't a go again card, this would be a very easy decision in my opinion. I think I'm going to give sync. I really don't know if this is correct. I don't think I'm going to bottom anything. Are there any commanding conquerors left in my deck? No. So it's just make a surge, throw this. Like there's no reason to draw a card here, right? Because, like, we'd have to draw multiple cards, and I don't think it's worth to try and get an arsenal going here. I don't know. That's a tough question. Um, how many Command and Conquerors has our opponent used? Um, all three. All three of the Command and Conquerors are out of their list, it appears. They've given up all three now, and we're going to come in for six. I really hate giving up that last sink below. That is a really hard decision. He's my spare partner. Oh, Adya, he's really good at Katsu? Well, dude, good. That's uh, That'll be good practice for me then, because Katsu's going to be a big deck in Atlanta in a couple weeks, and I want to make sure that I have reps into it. I mean, we're probably just supposed to take one here, right? Go to three to, like, throw Cranial Crush? Or, I'm sorry, to throw Terrace under Hammer? Like, I think that's the best play for us here. Like, they can give one card from hand in this, so they literally have to have a defense reaction here. And I don't think I saw them pitch a different defense reaction. Like, I think this is it. Yeah, that's really good for us. That is a big win. That is a big W for us. Now they're out of equipment, and we still have four points worth of equipment left. I think we're just taking one going to two. 
And then we're going to try and crack a gold here to draw into a blue. I, again, if I knew my pitch stack, we would be in a good spot. That is just better, right? Like, that's just, like, that's better than Macho Grande here. I mean, technically, Macho Grande ends the game, but, like, this gets every card out of their hand. So, like, it's not better, but it is good. And now we're at a point where we're going to fatigue our opponent. Even just throwing the hammer back and forth would probably allow us to end the game here. Seven go again, puts them to one. And then because of the surge, we get to throw the choke slam here. Yeah, no, you can't overblock. You have to take one. Even then, it doesn't matter because you're just dead to the choke slam. All right, Jesus, we ended up pulling it out here. We ended up pulling it out there. 21 turns. I did not think we were going to win that game. Um, so, Lumen, I'm going to be honest, man. That's a that's a tough um that's a tough thing to find like it's tough to find uh something that you truly love to play that is not an easy thing to to figure out and find man like it, i would i would just tell you to like keep trying different heroes until you find something that you feel like you can truly can connect with because like you know i when i started playing dash was like my favorite thing in the whole world uh, because i loved playing pivot like you know like item chamber dash into like you know the starvo oldham meta and then you know like i loved playing oldham into lexi um and like i really enjoy playing victor into the meta right now so it's tough man it's tough to find something that you truly love about flesh and blood it like it's not that it's tough to find something you love about flesh and blood because flesh and blood's an amazing game are you okay yes what was that my game. I'm angry. oh carly's angry i thought she hurt herself jesus um but like i you know like man like i love guardians i love the guardian style gameplay 100 percent all the way through um so like i'm really enjoying it sounds like we got some good questions here um all right i gotta use the bathroom these big hydrates are running through me i'm gonna reuse the bathroom real quick when i get back we're gonna look at uh we're gonna look at uh our some decks here and then we're gonna get a game against uh against audia here as soon as we come back and that'll probably be the last game we play tonight so, thanks for hanging out tonight, guys, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay, short break, and we're back. Let's pull up our decks. And let's see. Let's see. Tameshi never sent me his list, I don't think. I don't think, anyway. Also, we got new people in the Discord. That's fun. Um, all right. Let's look at... Let's look at our list here. 
Okay, so hang on, let me pull back up everything so I can see what you guys are talking about here. Okay, so this is, we're looking at a victor list, and okay, so this is for calling Puckett, okay. I, I think that's Puckett's how you say that. Um, I'm not sure. Ooh, out muscle is spicy. So let's see. AB3 is really interesting here to me because, like, I don't know that I would, like, I only run AB1 because, like, honestly, like, I don't think that if you're playing against a high-level Kano that knows what they're doing, I don't think you can beat them, um, even with AB3, like, in Respites. I just don't think it can be done. Um, let's see. So it looks like you're on, let's see, stats. You're on 33 blues. I'm only on 30 personally, but I do get some, like, all red hands hair now, so... You got to see his result page. Oh, wow. 16 and 4? I mean, dude, if you're 20 and 24, that's awesome, bro. Five wins against Katsu, one against Kano, one loss, three and one into Prism, one loss into Max, and one and one against Vincent. I mean, dude, like, you have an 83% win rate, brother. That's awesome. Yeah, dude, that's, that's like, dude, like, that's an amazing win rate, fam. Like, especially if that's against people you know and you're testing with. Um, so the, the the idea of out muscle is really interesting to me. Like, do you have matchups put in here? No, not yet. Okay. I, I don't know when people bring in out muscle. Like, it's a cool card. Like, it's obviously, like, it's good against Kano. Like, it's good against, like, like Dash. Um, like, I guess is, like, where people are wanting to play it. A lot of people are also playing Rouse in the main deck, and I just, I refuse. I hate it so much. Um, but I don't think it's bad. Like, I understand why people do it. It's just not for me. The two copies of Red Disable are something that, like, you know, my team and I have talked about multiple times. Um, you know, like, about cards that you could play. Like, I mean, look, this list also looks very similar to, um, um, Alan Lau's, I think. Alan Lau, I think he was playing a very similar list at, uh, LA. Um, you want out muscles against Warrior? Oh, okay, I like that, actually. I like that. That doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, so out muscle into that is like not bad. Um for sure. Like out muscle into warrior seems good. Um I don't really play the go again cards as the warrior matchup, honestly. I just try to like play the longer value game um and try to get value out of the course of the game, but like that may not be correct. So I'm assuming against warrior if you're bringing in out muscle, you're also bringing in zealous. Um I don't like the two blocks personally um yeah I, like the biggest difference i'm seeing in this list in mine is like you're on like the like the the hood the gloves and the boots um i'm also on arcane lantern because i think it helps with dromai but like i don't i don't hate your list at all like i don't think there's anything wrong with it like it's the the, the i i think this card's a trap personally honestly like i think that i think that wallop is just a trap if i'm just being completely honest like that card like feels like super weak to me like i'm not a fan of it like it feels very i don't know like while it, it, it like i tried it i'm just not a fan um what blues are we playing differently you're on debilitates choke slams disables cranial crushes thunderquakes you're just like the, the wallops are literally just extra blues in your deck where i'm only on like 30 you're just on wallops so you just add a wallops to your deck. I'm a trap. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I activate my trap card. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the list. Like out muscle is really cool and not something I've really tested with, but I don't like I don't like hate it, especially like if you have a game plan for it and where you want to be playing it for sure. Like I don't I don't hate it at all. Um Man, Carly's not having a good time with their game. Audio, are you still hanging out? Do you uh do you wanna you still want to play a game? Just going to put Adya. Looking for Adya here. All right, let's do it. We'll play play a game here. Um, I, like to, I like to play against Katsu. Like, testing against Katsu is good. Um, because, like, I really like to, like, see how different Katsus play. Um, and I think Katsu is going to be a very popular deck coming up um, in, a, uh, in a little bit here. Is this a... Uh, Is uh is this you, Audia? Are you are you is it mage? 
All right, let's get the prediction going. Um, hanging out on Twitch, we're going to do a prediction. You can bet your channel points and bet against other people here on whether I'm going to win or not. And we'll see how it pans out here. Um, so let's see. Yeah, that's me. All right, good luck, Anya. Um, let's see. Looking at I, my Kai, my Fi and Katsu plan is the same. We're running all these equipment, like we're running all the standard equipment here. Um, the 61 cards are I do not play Zealous, Rouse, Pulverize. Um, when I'm going first, I bring in one Pulverize just in case I get lucky with it. Um, and then I bring in the Sinks. And I like running a one of Pulverize when I'm going first just to maybe try and like get lucky with being able to do something. I'm going to be honest, I really don't want to arsenal any of this. Like, I mean, like, I guess, like, we could throw the choke slam and just, like, intellect penalty ourselves and keep the trounce in our hand. Um, I guess that's, like, the best play here. Like, we're letting them fill their graveyard here. Maybe I'm just supposed to pass and arsenal the choke slam. I don't know. Like, I always struggle with what to do on turn zero here. Gonna close the stream for a bit? Sure, absolutely, man. Yeah, dude, Lumina, we we were talking about that earlier and, like, how, like, dumb some of the stuff that, like, KO is getting in, like, the new, like, in the pre-cons is, like, actually crazy, bro. Like, it's actually nuts to see some of the, like, the cards, like, the chess piece and stuff. Um, it is worth noting that, um, Adya's running a pretty, like, standard package here. Um... We are going to block this with a trounce. Like, this card looks innocent enough, but it's not, in my opinion. Um, like, this card's not innocent, in my opinion. Like, 100 wins. Like, people are like, oh, I don't need to block 100 wins. And it's like, I hear you sometimes, but, like, I think you want to block the 100 wins because it's like it's like a, a starter here that gets them going, like, that gets their turn set up here. Um, I'm just going to block with Command and Conquer. We're going to make a new Surge, throw the Debilitate for 9, and then Arsenal the Sink Below. Because they're probably just going to Arsenal after this. Oh, Kadachis, sure. We'll take the Kadachis, that's fine. Yeah, that new chess piece that KO got in the Precon deck is like actually like kind of crazy. Yep, that makes sense. Um, make a Surge, and we're looking at Debilitate for 9. Which is good because like it means that they have to give us at least two cards. Um, depending on how um Adya likes to play this, they may block with three cards. Um, I mean one like Katsu plays a lot of two blocks, but I know a lot of I know a lot of Katsu players who are like on the firm train of like I'm going to block everything until it's time to kill you. And that's why we have to try and keep our equipment as long as humanly possible. And I always want to have a sink below set up in my arsenal so that I can um so that I can have the value from that, like just the value on that big turn that they go for there. No blocks, just taking the minus two effect. They must have a pretty, like Audio must have a pretty good hand to start the game here if that's the case. I mean, to be fair, like he just starts with a Kadachi. Like it's not like it's the end of the world. Like he just leads on Kadachi and it's fine. Oh, wow. So, I guess with the Bonds and a Gust Wave, like, we're just... He's already in on it. Like, we're already going for it here. Pretty surprised to see that as early as we are here. Um, it's, like, pretty pretty aggressive here. But, like, if he gets a... If if Katsu gets a, like, insanely early, crazy good start, then I can get put on the back foot very quickly. Also, like, everything being a breakpoint now is, like, super obnoxious. So, I'm going to assume that he's not playing Razor. I don't think that's a thing that people are doing. What I could do here is to play around them having two cards. I can give Balance of Justice and the Sink Below here. And that plays around Ancestral Empowerment and the Breaking Scales. Um, let's go ahead and put the Disable on the bottom. Okay, so Audi just did not draw a starter there. Interesting. I mean, we're going to throw the Thunderquake at him, Arsenal to debilitate, which is fine. Like, it's not great. 
but it is a um like debilitate is like a a, a, a two card six which is fine considering we have titan's fist in the matchup um i'm just probably pretty happy with the fact that um with the fact that like we blocked with balance of justice as early as we did Oh, he's playing Flick Flax into me. Intriguing. I have not seen a lot of people playing Flick Flax into me. I, I honestly wonder if it's a trap to play Flick Flax. I think we're supposed to give the test of strength here. I think this is fine. I mean, we do have a fridge, Josh, but like you don't understand. Like the Katsu deck can get out of hand very quickly, brother. Very quickly. So, if I, I can play Terra Sunder and then play Debilitate. It's 7 Dominate, and, like, I, it just depends on, like, what the Flick Flack situation looks like. If we crack a gold, we have 1 Floating, which means if we draw into a blue, we can play Terra Sunder into Spinal Crush, which is actually cracked. But I kind of like just playing Terra Sunder into the Debilitate, because we get the Crush Effect, and we get to Arsenal a good off surge turn card which i think is kind of good yeah no like i mean like i'm not saying it's like wrong or anything like i mean like there's definitely scenarios where like you're going to be able to get a lot of value out of it um but i think it is i think it, it hurts you more fundamentally with your game plan than it helps you personally i i don't know like i i, I haven't played katsu enough from that side of the board to like see what it looks like but personally that's what it feels like I mean, we're just not blocking here, right? Like, like there's no reason to give a trounce here at all. We're just going to make a surge. Actually, I guess technically, thought I hit you right there. I guess I didn't. Um, we should make a surge and then throw the spinal crush, and then we can arsenal the cranial crush and keep the trounce in our hand because cranial crush is technically better than thunderquake in the arsenal. Because against Art of War, it does have text box. It does have a text box, which is kind of cool. So I just raced Taylor's Leviah. I showed no fear. Coward style isn't for me. Listen, I'm just gonna say, Josh. There's a fine line between like like being a coward and ignorance here. And I think as Leviah, like there are times you probably can just race people because like the deck so does so much dumb stuff. But bro, Guardian just like can't just say no blocks and race people. And I say that as someone who tried. Trust me. Um, I mean, we should, right? The trounce is going to the bottom regardless, so we should, and we end up winning. Oh, and the golden sum is one of them, so we actually go, we actually plus one of gold there because of it. Um, no, so I, I do agree. It is very flip, like flip back and forth. There is a lot of like, there is a lot of that. I, I agree, like, wholeheartedly. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, sit and, like, you know, say that, like... I think I want to throw... Sorry, hang on. No, I'm going to answer your question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respond to that. I think I just... I think I want to throw the Cranial Crush here and keep this in my hand and so I can arsenal this. I don't know. That could be wrong. That could be a mistake. Um, but I think that this is a better play um, so that I can get the sink below into my arsenal um, and be ready for... Okay, I mean, getting a Flick Flack right there is a huge win. We we kept the Spinal Crush for a different turn, like, and they overblocked one, which I understand why, but, like, that's just a total win for us. Um, the matchup is very flip-floppy, in my opinion, and, like, I do think it's a very 50-50 matchup. So I think that there's something that like a lot of people like in like I, I think it, it it like I think I'm the drama when it comes to this kind of stuff, but I think I see the game differently than a lot of people do. Um I, mean, I don't really want to give them a gold, but I also don't want to like I think we're just gonna target ourselves here and win with a command and conquer. Yeah, that's fine. Um
like when, when I say a matchup is 50-50, I, I, I don't always necessarily mean that the games are very close. And that's something that like I feel like that's where I like fall apart from a lot of people. There are a lot of people that like <laughs> shout out Josh. Uh, there are a lot of people that I know that like, you know, like when they say like it's a 50-50 matchup, they refer to like the game being like, you know, the games are always close. Like Phi is favored into Dromai, even though all of the games are very close. Like every single Phi and Dromai game I've ever seen is insanely close by nature. But um, but like But like Phi wins, so like it's a it's a sli it's a Phi slanted matchup. If that makes any sense, um, I mean, I kind of think I'm better off throwing the debilitate here because it has a crush effect, which I know like is kind of like like why would I not throw the thunderquake here or the golden sun because it's technically two more points of damage. But I think I'm better off to throw the debilitate here because it has a crush effect. Yeah, I, I, I really agree, Lumina. That's, like, exactly how I see it. So, like, if, if Katsu, you know, like, sets up, like, turn three or turn four, like, 45 to 50 points, I can't really win that game. But, like, if we play this longer game like this, like, our 50-50 matchup, it turns into, like, where I'm going to win most of the games that go like this. Not all of them, and I could still lose this game, but I'm going to win most of the games that play out like this just because of... Like, you're playing into how Victor wants to play. We're playing a value game. My life is at 35, and right now I have a sink below an arsenal. Like, I have the best coverage setup I can have right now. Yeah, no, I... I, 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 I yeah, so, like, both of your points are 100% accurate. So, like, you both just kind of said the same thing there, and, like, I agree very strongly with both of you that, like... A lot of the point there is like matchups. A lot of matchups, in my opinion, are of who has a better skill. Like who has a bit like who's who's a better player. Like just straight up, who is a better player? And I don't think that like other people always see it that way. Um, and so like it, it's, I don't know. Like a lot. There are a lot of matchups, in my opinion. I'm sorry. I'm talking too much and not thinking here. I'm um, going in. Um, there are a lot of matchups, in my opinion, that like seem close on paper. But like, if I think that like you know Victor is favored into Dromai, and you think that Dromai is favored into Victor, that is all because of our individual testing. Um, all right, here we go. This is the turn. It's all because of our individual testing and how. Um, how, like, how we play and who we play against that determines a big piece of that. We're going to block five because I'm going to play around Art of War. So I was like, there might be double Art of War here. Like, my opponent might just, okay. Does my opponent just, do they just have the line here with no Art of War? They would have played it there. Like, if they had it, they would have played it. So they just have it. Um, okay, that changes a lot of things here. They had the empowerment, okay. So they're going to get Takatsu here. And potentially Mask, depending on if their hand's good enough here. is OP if you always win against decks to aggro decks. That's why I reduce the non-action cards in my deck. I play against and I usually pitch to tear bottom of the book of the game. I mean, so Michael, I get that. Like, I understand. Like, and I know a lot of people who feel that way um, about, like, the Victor deck as a whole. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that, like, any place I can get value, I'll take it. Um, and like, I just don't think that wallop gets the value that I want over the course of the game, but I'm definitely not like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, uh, you know, like I'm just going to tell you you're wrong or anything like that because wallop into aggro matchups does get a lot of value. 100%. So they didn't crack breezies here. Yeah. They don't have surging like honestly, but like some of their best turns start without surging in my opinion. 
We're going to give up a lot of equipment here. I think we're taking two here. Like, I think we're now at a point in the turn where we're keeping two. Or, I'm sorry, where we're taking two. So, let's see what they get here. I mean, even if it's Dishonor, it's just a zero for four, right? So, it doesn't matter. Like, there is no Surging Strike this chain. So, like, the Dishonor is irrelevant. Um, no. Do they have a Winds of Eternity in their... Um, I'm going to assume they're going to play their Arsenal card based off of that. I don't know. That was weird. Yeah, no, honestly, like, I'm completely fine without them having the Art of War here. Like, normally, like, this bigger turn where they use Mask is, like, they have, like, I think you have to wait for the Art of War. I'm just going to take three. Like, yeah, I'm just taking three here. I mean, if it is Winds of Eternity, like, it is Winds of Eternity. I don't know. Like, that's fine. Okay, so Tenacity is pretty solid. Um, I think that blocking three and taking five going to 22 is okay. Um, I would rather do that as opposed to throw Hammer. I would rather keep my life lead up, and then we still have the Sink Below in Arsenal. Um, I mean, this hand, like, pretty conveniently just blocks six and throws seven back. Depending on what they have. How many... Let's see. We've seen... There's one empowerment. There's two empowerments. So they discarded one earlier. So there's probably one left in the deck. Let's block like this. Ah, dang. They had the last one. Okay. I still think that was an okay decision for me. <laughs> they discard Shuriken. Okay, so they have the next combo piece. Um... I mean, we can't just block four here, right? They will just draw a card. We are wasting a point, though, if we do that. So is it better? I really don't want to give up all of my equipment, though. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. So we have to make the decision right now if we're going to block with both of our last two cards or if we're going to keep them. But I think the decision is to block here. Um, I mean, they don't have Descendant Gust Wave, so like, okay, it's just Fluster Fist. So I think we're just going to block three, take one, and then block three and take one. Like, there might be some world where I am supposed to... I don't know, there, there might be some world there where I'm supposed to, like, throw E-Strike, but I don't think that's it. Like, I don't think that's it. And the fact that, like, they have Mask on is pretty good for us. I... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they've had buffs the last, like, three turns. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, I, I can't just play around buffs every single turn. I will eventually lose the game. I mean, I could have given the sink below right there, but I don't think that's correct. So what? We have no test of strengths and one trounce left in the deck at this point in time. Also really depends on what their last two cards are here. They katsued for a bonds. I wonder if I was supposed to draw a card there. So 
Like, if they use Breaking Scalers there, like, that's a win for us. I mean, because it does nothing. Um, yep, so we have this. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the balance here. Do they have one more Flick Flack in their deck? Yeah, I think that was time to use the balance there. Is that all the Flick Flacks, or is there one more? I mean, like, if they have the last Flick Flack here, like, keeping this to, like, throw this would be bad for us. I could go to 14, sink below the spinning wheel kick, and then throw Spinal Crush. Like, we have to have a turn where we can, like, get back into the game functionally. I'm not going to sink anything. I mean, if they want to let, like, if they want to breaking scalers this, this is fine, I think. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Um, I mean, there could be some world where I try to, like, use gold to draw a couple cards here to, like, try and, like, come up with an arsenal card, but I don't think that's correct. Yo, Rick, what's up, dude? Yeah, so Lumina, that's like a really good question. Um, like, there's a there's a weird line between like me being able to do that and not being able to do that because one of the considerations is that they only have 14 cards left in their deck, which means like they can't really do many more crazy combos. Like, I think that I think that Adya has missed his opportunity to use Breezies here, but with 14 cards, there could be there could be some opportunity left. And with how many times they've Katsu'd, like I don't know their pitch tag. I mean, if I wanted to, I could sit here and like literally just figure out. All the things that they have left. Like, they gave up one Shuriken earlier. They have given up two Ancestral Harmonies. There are zero copies of Ancestral Empowerment. One copy of Art of War left. And one copy of Ancestral Harmony. So, like, they have a couple of buff lefts in the deck. Plus, they have a Breaking Scales. Okay, so they're just going to throw an attack at us here. Or it's the Flick Flack. No, they just decide to take the Crush Effect. I mean, like... That's fine with me, because, like, we, we're getting back ahead on life. I don't know. Like, now, honestly, like, the way that we need this game to go. Okay, so they're going to try and set up for another five-card hand. The way that we need this game to go is we need our last sink below and our trounce to line up very well for us. But, like, we could be at a point right now where, like, depending on what this next hand looks like, because, like, I'm going to assume, like, that's an instant. So, like, I don't know. They might throw a zero for four at us. They're probably just going to Arsenal. They decided to take some damage to probably play the f the floating dojo card. And then Arsenal their card on their turn, I imagine. So, it really depends on what our hand looks like. Yeah. So, that might be their Art of War. Like, that might just be their Art of War. Um, so, I think the best play we can make here is to make a new surge. Throw Choke Slam. And then Arsenal Sink Below. Because if they do have an Art of War, this card incentivizes them to block. So, like, Choke Slime's not bad in this matchup. Like, Choke Slime actually gets some pretty good value here. And, like, Adya could be going, you know what, I've got you at 11. I'm going to try to set it up here. Like, I'm just going to try to, like, yeah. Like, I think he's trying to find, like, either double, like, like an Art of War and Ancestral Harmony turn. Or he's trying to find... I, I I don't know what what we're looking like. Okay, so I kind of want to draw a card to find a better card than Macho Grande because I want like let's let's see what we have left. Like what what's better here? Like we have one copy of Command and Conquer. We do not have our Pulverize anymore. I'm gonna tell Adya that we're thinking here. Um, is there any more Choke Slams? Any red Choke Slams? Blue will not cut it. We have. One red choke slam left in the deck. Crush the weak is not a bad card for us here. Spinal crushes. We have two spinal crushes there, and then the last one's there. Uh, guaranteed. That's not guaranteed an instant. The instant they just played. I just had a stroke typing that, but you get the idea. Yeah, no, no, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I get what you're saying here. Um, so let's see. Debilitates. Debilitate is worth it here to me because like the like there's one red debilitate, 
two red debilitates. Three red debilitates. So we're playing we're playing out to a choke slam, basically, of like drawing a card, or I can throw eight dominate and then like try to just hang on for dear life. And I'm pretty sure the choke slam was pitched earlier. So I don't think we even like I don't think there's any guarantee that we even find the card that we're looking for. The one thing that drawing does is it kind of gets us closer to finding our last trounce, which I do think is kind of cool. Um, so let's wow. Talk about a rip. I thought we had pitched this already. Talk about a freaking rip. That is... What a draw. Wow. Timestamp that. Like, pure luck right there. Jesus. And, like, I'm pretty sure Adya, like, at this point is aware that we drew that. Like, because we would have just thrown that, right? There would have been no reason for us to draw a card if we had Choke Slam because we just threw a Choke Slam and he blocked it. So, like, man, what a rip off the top right there. Dude. Better lucky than good, right? Jeez. Guys, thanks for hanging out tonight. Appreciate everybody being here. If you're new to the channel, you like the content, be sure to hit that like or follow button. Uh, subscribe, like whatever whatever button, whatever wherever you're watching at, that follow button. Appreciate it if you guys hit that. It helps me out a bunch. Goes to one here. Okay, so Adya's saying that he doesn't need the buff anymore. <laughs> Man. I don't know if that's GG's yet. You know, Josh, we're, we're still at 11 here, like... Like, we're, we're on our way, I think, but, like, we, we have to play carefully because this card and this card can still enable um, Adya to have, like, a solid turn here. Blocking with two cards can punish us here, so we have to be careful. Um, Riku, if I had... Um This doesn't matter, right? Like, this just actually doesn't matter because they can't buff it because of Choke Slam. We're going to go to 10. I mean, going to 7 is just fine here, right? To throw the hammer because it's the Flick Flack or the two cards. I could give the Sink below here. I don't know. I think we want to save the sink below for something else. Honestly, I could be crazy, but um, so I took I cut Miller's grindstone out of the deck. Um, Riku just for like extra cards. I wanted to be able to play like other cards that help me in other matchups. And Titan's Fist is like essentially the same thing here um, as opposed to playing a card like um, Miller's grindstone. Like I understand that like Miller's grindstone over the course of the game, like he may only have like seven or six cards left in his deck. And that may have been really good for us. Um, but I do think that, I think that overall, like, Miller's Grindstone and, like, Titan's Fist is, like, virtually the same thing here. Um, plus Titan's Fist is just way better into Brutes. I do really enjoy Titan's Fist. Like, it's, it's a good card. Like, it's a, it's a great hammer. Like, it's versatile. Like, I have to admit, I did change my deck a little bit to make it work because there was a scenario in my deck where I was not able to kill Mirror Guy, and that is, like, a big no-no. Um, the, the concept of me, of, of pitching a uh, clash of vigor to Titan's fist to not be able to kill mirror guy is like big Sag. Like that is like terrible. Like that's, that's like, that's a, that's a no, no. Um, oh wow. He's having to play his art of war here. That is a huge W for us. That is a huge W for us. Now he probably only gives one card here, but like that's his last art of war and we're still at seven with a sink below. So like that is perfectly okay with me. Um, I think we're just taking the Kadachis. I don't see a reason to block the Kadachis. We're just blocking six here. We're just going to stay above um, board. Take one. I think this is fine. If we take one and like throw the hammer here, like, I know that I'm, like, really safeguarding the Sink Below here, but, like, I really want the Sink Below to be, like, a get-out-of-jail-free card for if we really ever need it. Um, yeah, this is probably just GG here, uh, more than likely. Um, like, with him only having two cards in deck, I don't think there's a way for him to kill me with the Sink Below here, but... But, yeah, like, I mean, like, there's just... I don't know. There's just always that... Like, I'm always just, like, trying to play as safe as I can.
And then because of the, we can actually just block this like this. Uh, we don't even need to keep our other stuff. Um, and then we get to crack this for 10 overpower or 11 overpower because of the might. So um, not going to lie. Adya really made me sweat there for a minute. Um, like Adya really put a lot of pressure on there. Like in the middle, like there was that turn where I took 12 damage. Um, and then like, you know, there was a couple of turns after that where like they, like Adya was forcing, you know, three cards out of my hand and like really putting the pressure on there. Like Adya, like, like that was, I mean, I feel like that was like, that was how that matchup goes. Like it starts out like really slowly for them and like they have to block a lot. And then at the end, yeah. something bad is happening on Curly's game. Um, and then... Um, and then, you know, oh God, something bad is happening in Carly's game, but the gamble early taking nine to Art of War was a fail. Yeah, so I, I realized it looked like you just drew no starters on you, which is tough for sure. Yo, Dazron from the UK, love your channel. Well, dude, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you taking the time to come by and say that. And it really means a lot, man. Appreciate you hanging out, dude. If you're in the UK, brother, it's like, what is it, like four or five in the morning there? That's crazy, man. Yeah, I like don't get me wrong, like like there's some trounce variants for both of us there in that game, but like it's worse for you most games. Um, like, you know, with a lot of stuff like that. So I, I completely get it, man. You're also in the UK? Oh, it's only two forty. So you guys are only four hours ahead of me? Or I guess like are there different time zones in the UK depending on like where you are? Oh, you still had three surgings left in the deck? Yeah, me putting all your surgings on the bottom is very unfortunate for you. I do agree with that. No, it's only one time zone? Okay, yeah, I didn't know. Like, I know that, like, you know, like, I, and, like, I say this, you know, like, I, I, I'm, like, when it comes to a lot of things, I, like, I, I am an uncultured American, and, like, I have done my best in the last few years to really try and change that, um, but it, it's, it's, it's tough sometimes. Like, I just, it, it, it anyway, there, there are no excuses, but regardless, and, you know, so I always ask people, I'm like, oh, like, are there multiple time zones in your country? And like, sometimes I really forget how big the U.S. is compared to like other other countries for sure. Um, awesome stream. Great games today. Dude, great. Thank you. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. That means a lot. Um, yes, I am East Coast uh, Lumina. I am. I'm uh, I'm from Tennessee. Uh, I'm from the top, very top right hand corner, like small town, like more cows than our people kind of place um, in Tennessee. Um, and I'm still lucky enough to have like two local game stores around me, which is awesome. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, it's awesome. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for the stream tonight. We, we went, uh, we almost went an extra hour over there. Um, that last game with audio though was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, six and oh tonight, we played a couple of games that were like, yeah, you know, like our opponents, like, I don't know really what they were doing. Um, and we played a couple of really good games tonight, though, that were like grind fest. Like, you know, they, they were really like, you know, like it was good practice for Atlanta coming up in a couple weeks. Um, so I really appreciate. Um, let's see. Turns out UK is only the size of Texas. Dude, I like so I somebody told me that, but I just always assumed that was somebody like memeing. I didn't know if that was actually true or not. But um, see you on the next stream. Let's mirror. Dude, I'm down for that, Michael. That sounds like fun, man. Um, but I really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out tonight. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that uh, that follow button, whether you're on YouTube, Twitch, Kick, wherever you're hanging out at. Um, really appreciate you guys being here. There will not be any streams um, this weekend or next week. Um, next week, I'm going to be in Wisconsin for work. Um, I have to be gone all week for work. Um, so there's there's nothing going on next week until next weekend. There might be something fun coming up next weekend. I think that Scowling Flushbag and I are going to do a uh, like a like a streamer showdown like game, like where we play like a, a CC, a Blitz and an LL game against each other. Like, you know, winner takes all kind of thing. Um, I don't know. Like, we're still trying to work out the details, but we're trying to figure that out. And I, I would really like to be able to do that before ProQuest season because I think it would be fun. Um, for anybody who doesn't know Scowling Fleshbag, um, he streams on YouTube and Twitch. He's from the UK also. Uh, he's a great streamer. He's very interactive. He's really fun. Um, he's he's really good. Josh hangs out in his chat a lot. So if you guys are going to uh, puck it next week, um, good luck. Absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely. If you guys are going to uh, Calling Pucket next weekend, please, uh, good luck. Very, uh, very much good luck uh, and that. I hope you guys have a good time and everybody be safe traveling. Uh, anyway, I'm out of here. You guys be safe, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Take it easy, guys.